here already at K Kavita's residence, and also there was an altercation between the uh, between KTR and the ED officials, where you you heard KTR questioning uh, the ED officials on how can they. Uh, Kavita uh, without a transit warrant and also at the same time he questioned uh, the ED officials that on uh, uh, when they had told that they will not arrest Kavita then how can they take her and arrest her is what uh, the KTR had been asking but as we have accessed the, the enforcement directorate arrest warrant where you can see uh, in the, uh, where you can see in the arrest warrant very clearly it is written that where, um, whereas I Joginder assistant director has reason to believe that Kalvakunda Kavita um, have been found guilty of an offence punishable under the provision Hello? of the uh, provision of prevention of money laundering act 2020 2002 now therefore in exercise to the powers confirmed upon me under subsection 1 of section 19 of the provision of money laundering act i hereby arrest k kavita at 5 20 pm uh, on uh, 15 that is today as she has been informed of the grounds of arrest where you can see right now As we are showing you the visuals where you can see, uh, where, where you can see, where you can see, Kek, um, uh, uh, the family members of K Kavita also have been uh, uh, outside the residence, and also the ED officials are still inside. But yes, there was a altercation between the. Uh, between the BRS leaders, the police officials, because uh, between the BRS leaders, the police officials, because BRS leaders, BRS supporters who have reached outside K Kavita's residence, they have been raising slogans of, uh, and also, <coughs> and also at the same time, no! uh, you can hear the doors, the doors are open uh, now. K Kavita expected to come out shortly. Uh, 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 as you can see, vehicles are uh, getting ready. Well, Visuals here, Kavita coming out. The vehicles uh, are, uh, are getting ready. All leaders, all the top leaders here uh, have been have, have reached here, and also every police department, which you are seeing uh, uh, right outside K Kavita's residence, uh, with massive police deployment, but still uh, right now. Showing her hand, showing her hand here. First visuals of K Kavita being. Well, these are the images now coming in. Kika Vita being taken out uh, from her residence in Hyderabad. She would be directly taken to the airport in Hyderabad. From, from thereafter, being, she would be brought to the national capital. That's expected sometime later, roughly around post 9 p.m. is when the enforcement director team uh, expected to land here in the national capital. This uh, a big development in the liquor gate. Remember, following the arrest of the then Deputy Chief Minister, Manish Sisodia and uh, senior Ahmad B party leader Sanjay Singh. This is yet another big arrest that has been made by the enforcement director on your screens. These are images now coming in of K Kavita being taken out uh, of her residence amidst uh, heavy security. Remember, the enforcement director had also sought cooperation from the Telangana police, uh, fearing that uh, there would be ruckus that would be created outside her residence as expected. BRS uh, workers 
followers uh, all lining up outside her residence at this point in time. In fact, her brother, KTR, was also present. Uh, there was an altercation, a brief altercation between KTR and the enforcement directed uh, officials. Uh, KTR raising questions about... Uh, whether at all the enforcement directorate has actually violated the Supreme Court order with regards to interim protection. But remember, uh, she has challenged the summons that was sent out by the enforcement directorate, but there was no protection that was granted by the court as far as the enforcement directorate uh, summons are concerned. The interim relief that she uh, received was uh, with regards to the case that is being probed by the Central Bureau of Investigation, paving way for the enforcement uh, directorate to take any punitive action against uh, the leader. The reason why BRS leader has now been taken into custody by the enforcement directorate is primarily because uh, of the alleged role that she played in the South group. The fact that uh, the enforcement directed uh, believes that uh, she has been able to broker a large amount of amount uh, to the Aam Admi party as a form of kickback. In fact, uh, she had several meetings uh, with uh, Buchi Babu and a few others who are part of the South lobby. And uh, remember, it is the South group itself uh, that uh, the enforcement directed suspects uh, played in an important role uh, in giving kickbacks, uh, alleged kickbacks to Aam Admi Party, something that the Aam Admi Party too has uh, denied so far. These are the latest images now coming in. Uh, for the first time, perhaps the enforcement directed had carried out uh, searches at K. Kavita's uh, Banjara Hills residence. Uh, before that, remember, she has already been examined multiple times by the Central Bureau of Investigation. She was also examined here in the National Capital twice by the Enforcement Director. This was last year. Uh, thereafter, she has basically sought for some sort of a protection. But so far, remember, the court hasn't granted any interim protection with regards to the Enforcement Directorate's uh, summons. Uh, uh, let me quickly go back to my colleague, uh, Aneri, who's uh, been tracking the story very closely. Aneri... A lot of drama that's taking place outside her residence. KTR has been arguing that this is a violation of the order that has been passed by the Supreme Court. But there appears to be a clear discrepancy here, uh, given the fact that there was no protection that was granted to K. Kavita in the enforcement directorate's case. Well, uh, that's right, Chaman. What we are seeing right now is that K. Kavita has just left from her residence and she will be taken to the national capital uh, where uh, tomorrow is what we are expecting that she will be produced uh, in the court. And also at the same time right now, as you can see, along with K. Kavita, her husband uh, Anil Kumar also was seen leaving uh, in another vehicle. But yes, K. Kavita has now... Uh, left from a res residence and she, they are heading towards the airport is what we are being told uh, and also at the same time what we are seeing right now is that uh, Bob K. Kavita K, uh, K. Kavita has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the Delhi Lakers scam and also a heated argument which had taken place uh, between, uh, b between KTR and uh, between KTR and the ED officials where you saw that it also now what time to buy would be K Kavita's vehicle in which she is being taken uh, is being taken um <laughs> Well, in fact, we'll try and connect with Aneri in a short while from now. The latest now coming in, it appears that K. Kavita has been accompanied by her husband, Anil, who's uh, also with her. The enforcement directed officials appear to be at least in another car. Uh, as of now, given the fact uh, that uh, as per the protocol, in fact, uh, till about uh, the time that uh, she is uh, taken to the airport uh, her family members would also be present uh, with her and uh, thereafter the enforcement uh, directorate perhaps uh, would not be allowing any family members to travel along with her uh, to the national capital because remember she now be taken into custody and the arrest memo has already been served which also means uh, that uh, she has accepted uh, the charges that have been leveled against her stepping into a short break on the other side we continue with our coverage the big development coming in from Hyderabad.
छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम क्या कब कैसे हुआ क्यों हुआ मुझे कुछ नहीं मालूम छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी भारतीय जनता पार्टी का अनन्या बहुत लेकिन मैंने हर परिस्थिति में बीजेपी के लिए काम किया है और अब भी करूंगा पहले से कई गुना ज्यादा कर हमने क्या खोया हमने क्या पाया जिंदगी धूप तुम घना साया तुमको देखा तो ये ख्याल आया हम जिसे गुनगुना नहीं सकते हम जिसे गुनगुना नहीं सकते वक्त ने ऐसा गीत क्यों गाया हाई लेवल कमेटी हेडेड बाय फॉर्मर प्रेसिडेंट रामनाथ कोविंद हैज रेकमेंडेड समिट इन एस इलेक्शन फॉर द लोकसभा एंड स्टेट असेंबलीज एज अ फर्स्ट स्टेप फॉलोड बाय सिंक्रोनाइज्ड लोकल बॉडी पोल्स विद इन हंड्रेड डेज टाइम बट द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज वेंट बाय समल टेनिस इलेक्शन इन द कंट्री Well we will answer this and some other questions you may have regarding one nation one election in the country what is meant by simultaneous tennis elections well simultaneous tennis elections popularly known as one nation one election means holding elections to the house of the people all the state legislative assemblies and local bodies example municipalities and panchayats together were simultaneous tennis elections held in india earlier is another question well back in 1957 conscious efforts were made by the central government the state governments and political parties on persuasion of election commission of india to prematurely dissolve state legislative assemblies in seven states of Bihar, Bombay, Madras, Mysore, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal as well so that simultaneous elections could be held. Simultaneous elections were by and large in vogue till the fourth general elections of 
but with the disruption of the cycle of simultaneous elections thereafter the country now faces 5 to 6 elections in a year if municipalities and panchayat elections are also included the number of elections will increase manifold well what is the need for simultaneous elections frequent elections burden the government exchequer with additional expenditure asynchronous elections cause uncertainty and instability that in turn thwarts supply chains business investments and economic growth as a whole Another reason is that staggered elections induce voters fatigue and present a significant challenge in ensuring their participation as well. Now let's look at the advantages of holding simultaneous elections in the country. When well, simultaneous polls will ensure ease and convenience to voters, avoid voters fatigue and facilitate greater voter turnout. Conducting elections to all three tiers of the government together would even avoid disruption of supply chains and production cycles due to migrant workers seeking leave of absence to cast their vote. Simultaneous elections would also reduce financial burden on the government exchequer by avoiding duplication of expenditure on intermittent elections. Holding of elections once every five years would result in mitigation of social disharmony and conflict, which is often observed during elections. Update your Aadhaar details for free and keep your information up to date. Well, big development coming in where you can see uh, right now Enforcement Directorate has arrested K. Kavita, the BRS MLC and the daughter of uh, K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Uh, the former chief minister of Telangana where you can see K. Kavita has now been arrested in connection with the Delhi liquor scam. Well, a big development coming in where uh, K. Kavita has now been taken to the, uh, she will be taken to the national capital where they have left from their residence already and also uh, re, uh, uh, tomorrow is what we are expecting that she will be produced before the court. Well, there was a heated argument which went on between K. Kavita's brother KTR uh, who is the working president of the PRS party. Uh, between KTR and the enforcement directorate officials, there was a heated argument which went on between both of them. Uh, KTR questioning the ED officials on how can they arrest uh, K. Kavita without a transit warrant and also at the same time And also at the same time what you are seeing right now is that K. Kavita is being taken to the airport where you... Uh, where, where, uh, the, where right now K. Kavita has been arrested uh, by the Enforcement Directorate officials in the connection with the Delhi Lakers camp. We'll be right back with more news and updates. Keep watching Republic TV. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hard-working and proactive professionals. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bhopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio model. Neva Bhopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. Just a day after the central government has now issued notification to celebrate 17th September as Hyderabad Liberation Day every year and also at the same time now we are seeing that a movie based on uh, the, the Nizam's rule, the, uh, the Razakar's rule, now a movie is being released on the name Razakar. We have the producer of the film, uh, Guru Narayan Reddy with us. We'll talk to him and know exactly what exactly. Lead the movie talks about, sir. Uh, the Razakar movie is all set to release on the 15th of March. What exactly does the movie talk about? What message are you trying to put forth through this, mo uh, through this movie? First of all, I salute our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, for declaring 17 September as a liberation day of Hyderabad. Because it took 75 years for the pseudo-secular parties who have ruled our country to not even to consider it. And every time the, some political parties for their electoral benefits used to talk that 17 September should be the official liberation day, it should be celebrated officially. 
today the union union government headed by prime minister narendra modi ji and also the home minister shri amit shah ji has taken a great decision my salutes to them secondly the movie razakar is going to talk or depict exactly what happened during those dreadful 396 days post 15th august 1947 till 17th september 1948 till hyderabad was liberated from the draconian rulers of telangana the I mean present day telangana yesterday year hyderabad province headed by mir usman ali pasha the then seventh nizam he acted so dastardly on his own people that unbelievable things have happened not even nazis have committed such heinous crimes nizam has committed and nobody had the guts to produce this because everyone okay because their threat comes and they get scared and all that i'm not scared i am son of the soil i would like to bring out the real story which happened and which was kept under the wraps all these years seven and a half decades it took god see lord balaji has enlightened me when i went to have darshan as i landed in renugunta airport i got a feeling that razakar in my mind i thought balaji lord bhagwan balaji is uh, you know basically indirectly or directly is giving me a signal that i should take up this subject which i took up and it has come out very well it's going to open the minds and also enlighten the present day generation younger generation of our country they need to know because all this while whenever we see any books we see great things about some you know shah jahan akbar and all that but we never see a bad thing done by a uh, same community guy nizam the 7th he has done such heinous crimes committed such heinous crimes that 60000 rapes of women of his own province and 2 lakh murders of, of the people of his own province and there were innumerable number of lootings done by the razakars i would like to i mean i had a direction from lord balaji to produce this movie and i have produced it is nothing to do with any political uh, sides or any inclinations or any sidings i was always a good citizen of this country without any criminal record and uh, my sincerity should not be doubted but also at the same time um, on one side we had seen that there were a lot of cases which were put uh, uh, to put a hold on this uh, movie release but now that the timing also of this movie is being questioned because on one side we see that the central government has already issued notification to celebrate uh, hyderabad liberation day every year um, and notification has been issued but also on the other hand we are seeing that very soon uh, the uh, notific uh, the dates for the parliament elections will also be announced so timing of this release of the movie is being questioned how do you look at it see some civil so civil uh, you know liberties organizations have filed a case which was dismissed by the honorable telangana high court yesterday all this while they were objecting by filing petitions with the uh, uh, cbfc central board of film certification and all these people and they could do all kinds of things for scuttling uh, the you know production and completion of this movie and today we are in such a situation by the nature you know the almighty and even panchabhutas are helping us in uh, bringing out the reality the true true events that took place true dreadful uh, events which took place during the razakars regime that is headed by mir usman ali pasha and you are saying that you know to why at this time uh, dur during the elections as i already said that you know the movie was supposed to have been released during september october there were objections then if i continuously get objections on one reason or the other i can i, I cannot stop it mm. because it has to be shown and i cannot have it it's a huge financial uh, mean uh, i mean budgeted movie without big faces as such you know big big heroes glam more bigger glamorous people by hard working characters and hard working you know uh, actors and actresses have acted in this movie who exactly lived in their you know their uh, characters mm. they have entered into that and lived as that character for example whether it is nizam or nizam I mean uh, right hand man khasim rizvi or another gentleman called rajareddy who fought against in bairanpalli or nizam's wife or uh, shanta was so many or even tej sapru acting as uh, sardar vallabhbhai patel makran desh pande I mean, uh, Raj Arjun as uh, uh, Hasim Rizvi, the most dreadful person uh, of the uh, Esther years. We have tried our best to bring out a beautiful.
Ha? Well, that's the latest now coming in from Hyderabad as uh, BRS uh, MLC has now been taken into custody by the N. K. Kavita has been taken into custody by the enforcement directed on your screens right now. These were images that ca came in just a short while back uh, when she was taken out from her residence. In a short while from now, she, she would be taken to the Hyderabad airport and from thereafter being brought to the national capital. In fact, uh, she would be kept at the lockup here in the enforcement directorate's headquarters and likely to be produced before the Rouse Avenue court sometime later in the day. K. Kavita has been arrested uh, in the liquor scam that is being probed by the Enforcement Directorate as well as the Central Bureau of Investigation. The leader was granted interim relief uh, as far as the CBI case is concerned. No relief was granted uh, to BRS MLC K. Kavita as far as uh, the Enforcement Directorate summons are concerned. Let me quickly go across to my colleague Aniri who has been tracking the story very closely. In fact, Aniri is also following uh, the cavalcade um, She's going to be taken to the Hyderabad the airport and from thereafter uh, to the national capital. Before that, let's uh, also get in some more reactions that are coming in from the BRS leaders. And you want to arrest her? What do you want to show? This case is going on for one year. There is no evidence. There is no cash. There is no evidence. Whatever you are doing, without any evidence, you are doing this case. ये बीआरएस पार्टी को डमकाने या डराने के लिए काम कर रहे हैं बीजेपी वाले या कांग्रेस वाले मिलके देखिए हम जो भी लीगल ऑप्शन हमारे सामने हैं उसको हम लोग एक्सप्लोर करेंगे हम जो लीगली हमारे सामने जो भी ऑप्शन है उसके साथ लड़ेंगे हमको पूरा विश्वास है हमारे न्याय व्यवस्था के ऊपर जरूर हमको न्याय मिलेगा कोर्ट में और असलियत बाहर आ जाएगा PRS uh, leaders now insisting that uh, this was a violation of the court order that was passed. But the fact of the matter is this, ladies and gentlemen, that the interim relief was granted in the CBI case. In fact, she had also challenged uh, the summons that were issued by the enforcement directed before a court here in the national capital. But no relief was granted as far as the enforcement directorate is concerned. What we are also putting out some more details with regards uh, to the liquor scam on your screens is the South group link. Magunta Reddy happens to be a witness in this particular case. Apart from that, Sharat Reddy was taken into custody by the enforcement directorate and thereafter, uh, in fact, uh, Buchi Babu, a chartered accountant, was taken into custody by the enforcement directorate. It was in the statements that were recorded uh, by the enforcement directorate of uh, these very people that you see on your screens that uh, K. Kavita's name had surfaced. It turns out that uh, several meetings were conducted by K. Kavita. Some meetings took place at Hyderabad and few other meetings took place uh, in the national capital. The enforcement directed alleges that there is a close link between one Boyn Pali and uh, K. Kavita. Instructions were provided to Boyn Pali through uh, Kavita with regards to the meetings that were supposed to take place with Vijay Dyer of Ahmad B party. In fact, some meetings took place just days before the draft excise policy was uh, handed over to C. Arvid, the then Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia's private secretary. In fact, a letter was given to C. Arvid at the, the residence of uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, which did actually make a mention of the necessary changes to be made in the excise policy. Now, this after recommendations were actually given made by the South Group itself, and those recommendations were actually incorporated in the excise policy that was uh, created. Now, the Vigilance Committee report that was submitted uh, to the Central Bureau of Investigation as well as the Lieutenant Governor did actually make a mention of the fact that uh, this was done in a manner without extensive consultation with the group of ministers or for that matter with an expert committee without which uh, they had come to a conclusion that the profit margin would actually be changed. That is the reason why the enforcement director basically says that uh, Perhaps the Ahmadbi party had uh, received uh, kicks, kickbacks uh, for making, bringing in the changes that would have effectively benefited uh, the South group. Let me once again bring in my colleague Aderi, who's getting us the latest details. Uh, 
what more can you share right now Anidhi? Well, in fact, we'll try to uh, reconnect uh, with uh, Aneri in a short while fr from now as the latest development now coming in that Kika Vita has been taken to Hyderabad airport. Uh, thereafter, she would be brought to the national capital. She's already been served uh, the arrest memo. There was actually a lot of confusion that was created with regards to whether at all uh, the arrest memo would be served in Hyderabad or in the national capital. Uh, last minute changes have also been made by the enforcement directorate and it turns out that uh, she's already been served uh, the arrest memo. In other news, uh, All India United Democratic Front has uh, announced its first candidate list for upcoming Lok Sabha polls. The list confirms that Maulana Badruddin Ajmal will contest from Dhubri, Sabul Islam Chaudhary will contest from Karimganj and Aminul Islam will be contesting from Nogam. Samajwadi Party has announced uh, six names for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. The party has given one seat to the Trinamool Congress in the alliance. Union Minister Rajnath Singh during his visit to Ranchi said that the people are fed up from the corruption and anarchy of the state government, says he can guarantee BJP will win all 14 seats here. Two Trinamool Congress parliamentarians Arjun Singh and Dibyendu Odhikari joined the BJP in Delhi today. Dibyendu Odhikari is the brother of West Bengal LOP Shuvendu Odhikari. Trinamool Congress leader Kunal Ghosh says uh, hope ECI conducts Lok Sabha polls in one phase only and that elections in more than a single phase are not required. JKNC Vice President Omar Abdullah calls for state assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir says ECI must take the opportunity tomorrow to announce polls in the state as there have been no assembly elections in the state for the last 10 years. People's Democratic Party has reaffirmed its commitment to the India Alliance and Jammu and Kashmir Senior Vice President Haji Abdul Hamid Chaudhary in an exclusive interview with Republic clarified that while the alliance is yet to be finalized, PDP stands firm in its support. The People's Democratic Party will field against uh, National Conference in all three seats in Kashmir. On the other side, rebellion in Karnataka, BJP head of the elections, Ishwarappa holds meet Mulz going solo. छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम क्या कब कैसे हुआ क्यों हुआ मुझे कुछ नहीं मालूम छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी छोड़ो कल की बातें 
कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी भारतीय जनता पार्टी का अनन्या बहुत लेकिन मैंने हर परिस्थिति में बीजेपी के लिए काम किया है और अब भी करूंगा पहले से कई गुना ज्यादा कर हमने क्या खोया हमने क्या पाया जिंदगी धूप तुम घना साया तुमको देखा तो ये ख्याल आया हम जिसे गुन गुना नहीं सकते हम जिसे गुन गुना नहीं सकते वक्त ने ऐसा गीत क्यों गाया हाई लेवल कमेटी हेडेड बाय फॉर्मर प्रेसिडेंट रामनाथ कोविंद हैज रेकमेंडेड समिट इन सिलेक्शन फॉर द लोकसभा एंड स्टेट असेंबलीज एज अ फर्स्ट स्टेप फॉलोड बाय सिंक्रोनाइज्ड लोकल बॉडी पोल्स विद इन हंड्रेड डेज टाइम बट द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज वेंट बाय समिट इन सिलेक्शन इन द कंट्री Well we will answer this and some other questions you may have regarding one nation one election in the country by simultaneous elections well simultaneous elections popularly known as one nation one election means holding elections to the house of the people all the state legislative assemblies and local bodies example municipalities and panchayats together were simultaneous elections held in india earlier is another question well back in 1957 conscious efforts were made by the central government the state governments and political parties on persuasion of election commission of india to prematurely dissolve state legislative assemblies in seven states of Bihar, Bombay, Madras, Mysore, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal as well so that simultaneous elections could be held. Simultaneous elections were by and large in vogue till the fourth general elections of 1967. But with the disruption of the cycle of simultaneous elections thereafter the country now faces five to six elections in a year. If municipalities and panchayat elections are also included the number of elections will increase manifold. Well what is the need for simultaneous elections? Frequent elections burden the government exchequer with additional expenditure. Asynchronous elections cause uncertainty and instability that in turn thwarts supply chains, business investments and economic growth as a whole. Another reason is that staggered elections induce voters fatigue and present a significant challenge in ensuring their participation as well. Now let's look at the advantages of holding simultaneous elections in the country. Well, simultaneous polls will ensure ease and convenience to voters, avoid voters fatigue and facilitate greater voter turnout. Conducting elections to all three tiers of the government together would even avoid disruption of supply chains and production cycles due to migrant workers seeking leave of absence to cast their vote. 
Simultaneous elections would also reduce financial burden on the government exchequer by avoiding duplication of expenditure on intermittent elections. Holding of elections once every five years would result in mitigation of social disharmony. Fix it back to GMK and uh, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu MK Stalin as Madras High Court Justice N. Anand Venkatesh directs uh, Coimbatore Police to permit a four-kilometer road show during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the city on 18th of March with uh, certain conditions that would be placed. Remember, earlier in the day, Tamil Nadu government uh, refused uh, to grant permission to the Bharati Janta Party for a road show of the Prime Minister in Coimbatore. In fact, uh, they had essentially cited uh, the region being sensitive and that is the reason why the road shows would not be allowed. Public meetings can be conducted but not a road show. That was uh, the argument that uh, it was uh, put forth but now it turns out that with the BJP appearing before the Madras High Court and arguing on the ground that uh, this was an arbitrary decision on the part of the Tamil Nadu government. It appears that uh, the court was convinced and uh, Madras High Court has now directed Madras High Court has now directed uh, the state government to permit a four kilometer road show during the Prime Minister's visit to the city on 18th of March. But in fact, uh, getting in some more breaking news uh, coming in. This is with regards uh, to the rebellion that is brewing within the Bharti Janta Party. K. Ishwarappa has uh, declared that he will be contesting as an independent from Shiva Moka. Uh, what's also important to point out here is that uh, he has already expressed his uh, disappointment over the fact that uh, ticket was not granted to, to his son. Ishwarappa has now declared that he will be contesting as an independent from Shivamoga. That's the latest that we're getting in uh, from Karnataka. This at a time when, remember, there have been changes that have been made by the Bharatiya Janata Party with regards uh, to Shobha Karandalaji's uh, seat has also been changed. Remember, she's now being she would be contesting from one of the constituencies in Bengaluru. Uh, she's been changed from Udupi. So there have been several other changes uh, that have been brought in, but K. Shurapa appears to be miffed with the decision that was taken by the Bharatiya Janata Party with regards to not uh, giving him or his son a ticket. Uh, he has now declared that he would be contesting as an independent uh, from Shivamoka. After the U.S. State Department indicated that they are closely monitoring the developments that are taking place here in India pertaining to the Citizenship Amendment Act, the Ministry of External Affairs has reacted sharply saying that they exactly know why this decision has been taken and the U.S. perhaps need not really bother with what's really happening with regards to the CAA. Listen in to what the Ministry of External Affairs had to say earlier in the day. The Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 is an internal matter of India and is in keeping with India's inclusive traditions and a long-standing commitment to human rights. As regards the U.S. State Department's statement on the implementation of CAA, and there have been comments made by several others, we are of the view that it is misplaced, misinformed and unwarranted. India's constitution guarantees freedom of religion to all its citizens. There are no grounds for any concern or treatment of minorities. Vote bank politics should not determine views about a laudable initiative to help those in distress. Lectures by those who have a limited understanding of India's pluralistic traditions and the region's post-partition history are best not attempted. Partners and well-wishers of India should welcome the intent with which 
this step has been taken. Santa approves e-vehicle policy to promote the country as a manufacturing destination for electric vehicles. Minimum investment of 4,150 crore rupees required with no cap on maximum investment and a three-year timeline for setting up manufacturing facilities in India and start commercial production of e-vehicles. Enforcement Directorate has summoned Jharkhand Congress MLA Amba Prasad and her brother for questioning in a money laundering case next month. MLA Amba Prasad, who represents uh, Barkagao in the Jharkhand Assembly, has been asked to depose on 4th of April, while her brother Ankit Chau has been called the next day on 5th of April. ED conducts searches at BRC MLC K Kavita's residence in Hyderabad in connection with the Delhi liquor policy case. Talking about India's stand on the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, Ministry of External Affairs said that India has been very consistent in its position on Russia-Ukraine war that encourages uh, a peaceful resolution of the conflict through dialogue and diplomacy. The ministry reiterated that India will stand by his objective. Indian Army raises its first Apache attack helicopter squadron in Jodhpur in the presence of senior officials including Army Aviation Corps Director General Lieutenant General Ajay Suri and officials from the equipment manufacturer. The first choppers uh, of the squadron are scheduled to arrive in May this year from the United States of America. There's still mystery surrounding as to what really happened to Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. This after reports came in that she sustained major injury late last evening. In fact, the first medical bulletin that was actually issued indicated that uh, she was pushed from behind. Remember, there has been no clarification really coming in from the hospital with regards to who exactly has pushed the chief minister. Having said that, there have been multiple clarifications coming in from the family members. Take a look at this report which puts together the exact timeline as to what really happened to the chief minister and what's the current situation like. In 2021, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee was seen campaigning in a wheelchair after she was injured in an accident in East Midnapur. Three years later, just days ahead of the Lok Sabha polls, the TMC Supremo has suffered yet another injury. Mamata Banerjee was rushed to SSKM Hospital in Kolkata at 7.30 p.m. on March 14. Cut to 8.10 p.m., TMC reports that Mamata sustained a major injury. Pictures posted by TMC show deep cuts on Mamata's forehead. Honorable Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee reported to our hospital today around 7.30 p.m. with a history of fall within the vicinity of our home due to some push from behind. She had a cerebral concussion and a, had a sharp cut over her forehead and nose which was bleeding profusely. Mamata's sister-in-law, Kajori Banerjee, first confirmed the claim. Hours later, she was quick to change her stance. I was told that my family was a doctor, and my mom was a doctor. I was told that my mom was a doctor. I was told that my mom was a doctor. I was told that my mom was a doctor. I was told that my mom was a doctor. I was told that my mom was a doctor. I was told so, what do you think about the people who are in the world? What do you think about the people who are in the world? What do you think about the people who are in the world? A mystery on why Mamta Banerjee 
was taken with an open wound. Why? When she was bleeding, there was not a single cloth or a bandage given to her. In spite of knowing that Mamta Banerjee is a diabetic patient, she has a history of comorbidities. And most important part is why the statement by the medical council, the, the medical bulletin, the, in, in, where they have said that Mamta Banerjee's fall might have happened because of a push from behind. Who pushed her? Who made her this vulnerable is what the nation is right now questioning. Republic TV. On the other side, K. Kavita arrested, uh, being taken to a national capital by ED officials. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Just a day after the central government has now issued notification to celebrate 17th September as Hyderabad Liberation Day every year and also at the same time now we are seeing that a movie based on uh, the, the Nizam's rule, the, uh, the Razakar's rule, now a movie is being released on the name Razakar. We have the producer of the film, uh, Guru Narayan Reddy with us. We'll talk to him and know exactly what exactly. Lead the movie talks about, sir. Uh, the Razakar movie is all set to release on the 15th of March. What exactly does the movie talk about? What message are you trying to put forth through this, mo uh, through this movie? First of all, I salute our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, for declaring 17 September as a liberation day of Hyderabad. Because it took 75 years for the pseudo-secular parties who have ruled our country to not even to consider it. And every time the, some political parties for their electoral benefits used to talk that 17 September should be the official liberation day, it should be celebrated officially. Today, the union, union government headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and also the Home Minister Sri Amit Shah ji has taken a great decision. My salutes to them. Secondly, the movie Razakar is going to talk or depict exactly what happened during those dreadful 396 days post 15th August 1947 till 17th September 1948, till Hyderabad was liberated from the draconian rulers of Telangana, I mean present day Telangana, yesteryear Hyderabad province, headed by Mir Usman Ali Pasha, the then 7th Nizam. He acted so dastardly on his own people that unbelievable things have happened. Not even Nazis have committed such heinous crimes. Nizam has committed. And nobody had the guts to produce this because everyone, okay, because their threat comes and they get scared and all that. I'm not scared. I am son of the soil. I would like to bring out the real story which happened and which was kept under the wraps all these years, seven and a half decades it took. God, see Lord Balaji has enlightened me. When I went to have darshan, as I landed in Renugunta airport, I got a feeling that Razakar in my mind. I thought... Balaji, Lord Bhagavan Balaji is, uh, you know, basically indirectly or directly is giving me a signal that I should take up this subject, which I took up and it has come out very well. It's going to open the minds and also enlighten the present day generation, younger generation of our country. They need to know because all this while, whenever we see any books, we see great things about some, you know, Shah Jahan, Akbar and all that. But we never see a bad thing done by a uh, same community guy, Nizam the Seventh. He has done such heinous crimes, committed such heinous crimes that 60,000 rapes of women of his own province and 2 lakh murders of, of the people of his own province and there were innumerable number of lootings done by the Razakars. I would like to, I mean I had a direction from Lord Balaji to produce this movie and I have produced. It has nothing to do with any political uh, sides or any inclinations or any sidings. I was always a good citizen of this country without any criminal record and uh, my sincerity should not be doubted. 
But sir, also at the same time, um, on one side, we had seen that there were a lot of cases which were put uh, uh, to put a hold on this uh, movie release. But now that the timing also of this movie is being questioned, because on one side we see that the central government has already issued notification to celebrate uh, Hyderabad Liberation Day every year, um, and notification has been issued. But also on the other hand, we are seeing that very soon uh, the uh, notific uh, the dates for the parliament elections will also be announced. So timing of this release of the movie is being questioned how do you look at it see some civil so civil uh, you know liberties organizations have filed a case which was dismissed by the honorable telangana high court yesterday all this while they were objecting by filing petitions with the uh, uh, cbfc central board of film certification and all these people and they could do all kinds of things for scuttling uh, the you know production and completion of this movie and today we are in such a situation by the nature, you know, the Almighty and even Panchabhutas are helping us in uh, bringing out the reality, the true, true events that took place, true dreadful uh, events which took place during the Razakar's regime that is headed by Mir Usman Ali Pasha. And you are saying that, you know, to why at this time, uh, dur during the elections, as I already said that, you know, the movie was supposed to have been released during September, October. There were objections then. If I continuously get objections on one reason or the other, I, can, I, I cannot stop it. Mm. Because it has to be shown. And I cannot have it. It's a huge financial, uh, main, uh, b I mean, budgeted movie. Without big faces as such, you know, big, big heroes, uh, glam more bigger, glamorous people. But hardworking characters and hardworking you know, uh, actors and actresses have acted in this movie who exactly lived in their, you know, their uh, characters. Mm. They have entered into that and lived as that character. For example, whether it is Nizam or Nizam, I mean, uh, right hand man, Khasim Rizvi, or another gentleman called Rajaridi who fought against in Bairan Palli. Thank you for joining us here on Republic TV. We've had some uh, big, big developments in the liquor scam case this evening with the Enforcement Directorate arresting K. Kavita, BRS leader, daughter of KCR in Hyderabad, hours after she was raided. It's our focus and the burning question on the timing of the arrest. Here are the headlines. Big development in the liquor scam investigation, KCR's daughter, BRS leader K. Kavita, arrested by enforcement directorate. K. Kavita arrested, being taken to the national capital by ED officials now. Date set for the big 2024 Lok Sabha elections, all eyes on the election commission briefing at 3pm tomorrow. The Berlin in Karnataka, BJP ahead of elections, top leader Ishwarappa will fight alone against Yadirappa's son. Gloves are off within the BJP in Karnataka. Supreme Court pulls up SBI for not sharing complete data on electoral bonds. Former Karnataka Chief Minister Yadirappa faces a POXO case. He denies the allegation, says, let law take its course. Kavita, the daughter of the former Telangana Chief Minister KCR, has been arrested this evening in the Delhi liquor scam. Kavita is the most prominent leader from what the ED called the South Group to be arrested in the case. Many of her close associates are either arrested or under the scanner and the action is now moving to Delhi. What repercussions could this arrest have on the elections Will there be bigger developments in the case following the arrest of K. Kavita? Here are the details of what unfolded since this morning and then the big debate. ED officials 
search K Kavita's residence in Hyderabad in the Lekka Gate case. ED arrests K Kavita and her brother KTR threatens the officials. Madam no, Balupriya Meena says yeah, yeah, the search is over and arrest warrant is produced and now she says, hold on, hold on, and now she says, now she says we can't come in, family cannot come in and she also says that she has no transit warrant, she cannot produce before a magistrate but she wants to make a case. Listen, you are, you are, you are given an undertaking in Supreme Court and now you are violating it, you are in serious trouble. ED is now bringing K Kavita to Delhi to question her. K. Kavita is one of the top leaders to be arrested in the case. Will bigger names follow? That's the burning question. All right, uh, let me quickly uh, introduce our panelists this evening. We have N.V. Subhash, who will be joining us, spokesperson of the BJP. Rawala Sridhar, ready spokesperson of the BRS, with us on the debate this evening on the burning question. I also have Akash Deep Muni, a political analyst who leans towards the Amadmi party, which as a party is also under the scanner and liquor scam. Before I go across uh, to Rabula and Akash Deep, I want to quickly, quickly uh, go across uh, to my colleague Aneri joining us from the ground to get a live update and then I'll go across to both Rabula and Akash Deep Muni on why they feel uh, this is wrong. Aneri, joining us live. Aneri, what's your location? Uh, what is the update? Has she been moved out of her residence? What's the update there? Well, Naranjan uh, K. Kavata has been moved out of her residence and uh, now she is being headed to the national capital where uh, the AD officials are taking her to the Shamshabad airport. From there, she will be taken uh, to the national capital and tomorrow is what we are expecting that she will be produced before the court. Well, this is in connection with the Delhi liquor scam. Well, remember, this afternoon at around 2 p.m., the AD officials reached K. Kavata's residence and from there, uh, the raids, there were searches which were being conducted at her residence and following which we also saw the arrest of K. Kavita, but then KTR who happened to question uh, K. Kavita, uh, uh, KTR who happened to question the ED officials over the transit warrant asking that where, why do not they have transit warrant and without the transit warrant they cannot arrest her but later we also saw K. Kavita signing the document of the arrest warrant and also the ED officials have uh, arrested her in the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 uh, two, and also she was found guilty is what the ED arrest memo reads as. So we'll have to wait and watch how it turns out to be. But yes, the uh, the, the BRS uh, the BRS leader, the BRS has been questioning the central government over the timing because remember tomorrow the election commission of India is all set to announce the election dates and just before that we see that the arrest of K. Kavata in connection with the Delhi liquor scam has definitely uh, 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 the BRS is now questioning the BJP over it. But yes, we are uh, remember K. Kavita has been summoned earlier also, but she did not appear before the Enforcement Directorate for questioning. Only in the first time uh, she had appeared before the Enforcement Directorate in the National Capital for questioning. And now we see that today afternoon, the ED officials reached her residence and uh, they were conducting uh, searches at her residence, following which she was arrested. Niranjan. Okay, let me go across to Ravula Shridhar. Ravula, I just saw you speaking to the media there. You spoke to the media and uh, of course, uh, I understand, it's understandable that your entire party is upset. I saw the video of uh, KTR, uh, KT Ramarao also over there confronting the enforcement director officials there. Uh, why do you feel, uh, why do you feel it is, it is a wrongful arrest? Ravala. See, when, when, when she has, uh, Niranjan, when she has the protection uh, against the arrest and when the appeal is pending in the court, uh, you know, she has made an appeal in the court, she filed a case to stop uh, ED to take any uh, such uh, hasty actions against her. Today also the case, uh, case was heard and the case is posted on 19th for the next hearing. What is so urgent? For the past one and a half years, she has been cooperating in this case with the uh, probe agencies. She appeared before the ED before. She has cooperated with the all uh, agencies for the whatever verification or inquiry what they wanted to. We are not running away from this country. And exactly before the, you know, a day before the election notice, that too when uh, the Prime Minister is there in Hyderabad in Telangana, and this has arrest happened. This is completely unconstitutional, and this completely is a contempt of court. This is against the law provisions, provisions of law, and we are going to challenge it in the court anyway. But, you know, this is the kind of modus operandi BJP and central government is following to intimidate the political opponents. And how can you just, you know, justify your act? Exactly a day before the notification. 
and schedule announcement and prime minister is here and bjp wanted to if they wanted to intimidate us scare us with this kind of arrest we are not we are, we are not we are not the people to get scared off and we we are as born out of the agitation we fought for the state of telangana we know how to face these kind of you know suppressions and you know pressures you can't suppress us if you go on arresting people if you go on filing cases against those who question you and question you are uh, misgovernance misrule and if you you know arrest anyone who ask you and if, if this is the way you behave people will teach the government a lesson modi government a lesson What? today people of telangana no. will understand now one second hello see uh, see ravula i understand that but from what i also have understood uh, given the details of this case she was given an exemption Uh, from uh, from the CBI, there was no exemption from the ED. I don't think there was any relief that was granted to her visa via ED. Uh, so the agency was uh, perhaps well within its right. I'm sorry. The case is before the court. The case is before the court. This is posted to 19, and there is a protection from arrest. And today, even without a transit warrant, she was taken to Delhi, reportedly. So what is this? What is so urgent? That's what I'm asking. This is purely. No, you're right. I mean, I I I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. You have every right to ask that question about the timing. You have every right to ask uh, the questions about the timing because I I remember she was she was summoned last year as well. She has been summoned several times. Arrest a day before. Uh, you know, you have every you're you're in your right to ask that question. Let me go across also to Akash Deep Muni. Akash Deep Muni, while the timing yes. can be questioned. You can question the timing. That's okay. You can question it, but you can't question the charge. I'll tell you what the charge is. Allegations are made by the enforcement directorate against K Kavita that she paid proxies hundred crore rupees to the Aam Aadmi Party, encouraged liquor businesses and cartels through bribes, held sixty-five percent stake in a liquor company that benefited. and destroyed evidence after the scam was exposed these are allegations that the enforcement directorate has made in different charge sheets uh, over a period of time can you deny these charges akash deep can you question the timing the, i agree with you you can now you are right you are right that these are allegations not a single allegation has been proven and not a single money trail has been recovered till now in the whole excise scam including many leaders of aam aadmi party and brs <laughs> this is very interesting however it is very interesting to note that future gaming company which has got a which has bought a bonds electoral bonds of 1368 crore not in lakhs as in this case has been raided by the enforcement directed on 2nd april 2022 on 7th april the company buys uh, bonds same happens with micro lab 14 july raid happens 10th october they buy same happens with arvind pharma 10 november uh, 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 after the first raid happens and then they buy bonds while there have been a numerous cases where after the raids people have gone companies have gone and with the proceed of crime quote and quote as after the raid it is told that the money of the company remains as a proceed of crime the proceeds of crime quote and quote they they have bought the electoral bonds which has were beneficial different political party now i want to ask enforcement directorate are they going to attach the accounts of these political parties where while they arrest k kavita this is interesting why they are going to do and coming back to the excise scam you know in excise scam there is no scam at all because uh you know uh, there is uh, uh, this uh, the, the witnesses in this camp are being tortured even i want to quote one witness who has gone to the uh, high court and he said he said that chandan has moved to the telangana high court complaining that enforcement directorate now remember chandan is the witness in this case by enforcement directorate the chandan has gone, gone to the uh, court and said that enforcement directorate tortured him and he has and he has shown his medical certificate also where he has uh, he has faced health problems after being tortured quote and quote by enforcement director this whole case is made up seems to be of 
to get some political gains out of the uh, 2024 elections that are coming now. And of course, you are showing Manish Shishodhi and uh, Sanjay Singh. Do you know that Manish Shishodhi and Sanjay Singh have been arrested by statement of one or only one approver? You know, I know that if somebody becomes approver, cannot be arrested again. First in 2022, Dinesh Arora, the approver is arrested on behalf of which uh, Manish Shashabhi is arre uh, arrested. And then 2023, again, the approver Dinesh Arora is arrested by ED. And he says that now name of the Sanjay Singh. Sanjay now, Singh now let, let me, let me, bar. Akashdeep, Akashdeep. Akashdeep, I think I think you're getting too technical right now. See, okay, I understand. Fine. I mean, we will get. We have, you know, uh, debated this in in great detail. But I'd like to go across before you get into technicalities of it. Uh, let's look at the arrest aspect of it. There's been tension in Hyderabad. Uh, BRS supporters are upset. I can understand that. I mean, it's it's the KCR uh, KCR. It's KCR's daughter who's been arrested. I understand uh, uh, the anxiety in the party. Uh, what next for your party? And uh, will this have an impact on your uh, electoral uh, preparation, Ravola? Coming no, 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 no. as the kind of, day you know, before the announcement and days like, before voting. Niranjan, these are these are not going to scare us, and uh, this is not a surprise, of course. Uh, for the past one year and one year, BJP leaders in Telangana, right from their state president to our small leader, continued to give us uh, threats that you know we are going to arrest you, put you behind bars. The central will act on to it. Even in the last visit of Narendra Modi ji, he himself has told Mamla, Bahut, Gangri, no jayega something. So, definitely uh, seeing such cases in many other states, whether you take Jharkhand or uh, Delhi, uh, the, the kind of uh, behavior with Delhi leaders by central probe agencies. And it's clear it's a political uh, vendetta. They wanted to show on us. They wanted to harass us. They wanted to, you know, uh, suppress us. They wanted to, uh, you know, prove a point that, you know, they are fighting something like this. So, only to gain politically in the forthcoming elections of Lok Sabha in Telangana, they have stooped down to this level. Fine. BJP, BRS party believe in the judiciary and uh, definitely we will fight it out. And as you were saying, they, they, they could not show any evidence till date. They were only showing some papers as stated by the approver or some other accused or some other witness and all that. There is no money trial, there is no evidence to it, there is no cash found. But everywhere they are speaking on the base of some papers, you know, they are said to be the statements given by the other involved in this case. So, fine, okay. uh, this, this is the modus operandi of Bharatiya Janata Party's government. And uh, we will fight out, we will go to the, we will definitely go to the people and we will, you know, fight out in the people's court as well in the other Let me get a different perspective. I have Savio. I have Savio Rodriguez, uh, a journalist, a senior journalist, also joining us on this debate. Savio, can you question the timing? I mean, I, I know you question, uh, you take a pro BJP stand. You are a journalist, but you do take a pro BJP stand at times. And, you're, and, and you are, you know, uh, rational when it comes to a certain issues. The timing of this arrest, right? Does it raise questions? Coming a day before the announcement of the election dates. Well, you know, Nirajan, I'm not uh, I'm really going to say whether the timing is in question or not, because I am somebody who has always believed that the intelligence agency... Sam, stay with me. I'm just getting a live shot. I'm getting a live shot. I'm getting a live shot. Sam, just be with me. Sorry to interrupt you there. I'm getting a live shot. I'm no, just no going problem. across to the live shots coming in of, uh, of K. Kavita. I think that was a picture from the airport. Let's stay with the let's stay full frame with those pictures, pictures from uh, from the Hyderabad airport. K Kavita being taken away by the enforcement directorate team. By the enforcement directorate team entering the Hyderabad airport, she's been taken to Delhi. She will be taken to Delhi, flown to Delhi from Hyderabad. The focus is now shifting to Delhi, where K Kavita will remain for the next few days. She was served with an arrest memo by the Enforcement Directorate earlier today and those are pictures coming in of K. Kavita at the, at the Hyderabad airport. Uh, I can see that officer. Uh, I, I, I'll quickly get in a word while staying with these pictures uh, from Aneri. Aneri, I saw that video of KTR confronting the Enforcement Directorate team.
uh, you know those moments when uh, when uh, they, the arrest had officially taken place, formally taken place. Uh, you know when 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 KTR tried to intervene. Well, that's right, Niranjan. Uh, KTR tried to intervene and uh, stop uh, Kavita's uh, arrest. But, but then, uh, uh, as you can see, the ED officials have arrested uh, K. Kavita. And also, there was a heated argument which went on between both uh, KTR and the ED officials. Well, KTR was seen questioning the ED officials where uh, you uh, where he questioned that where is the transit uh, warrant? Without transit warrant, how can you arrest her? And also, at the same time, he was seen questioning uh, the ED officials on the Supreme Court's orders that uh, how uh, without the Supreme Court, uh, you had earlier told Supreme Court that you will not take any sort of action until and unless there's next move or next orders coming in, then how can you do, how can you arrest her is what the uh, is what KTR was seen arguing but right now as we are showing on our screens where you can see K. Kavata has reached the airport, the Shamshabad airport, high security uh, amid the high security he has has been taken uh, to the national cap. Uh, she'll be moved to national capital, but then at the airport and also at her residence, there was a high security, as you can see in the visuals as well. Heavy security deployed at the, at the airport also, where now along with the enforcement directorate officials, she is being taken to the national capital. And I see along with K. Kavita, her husband Anil Kumar is also there. Um, uh, when uh, along with her, so may, uh, most likely he will also be traveling along with uh, uh, along with K. Kavita to the national capital. But yes, what is just just be with right me, be with me. Aneri, be with me. I'll get in a word. I have to take a break. So before I take a break, uh, you know, I, I, because I will I will continue this debate even after the break. But I want to get in a word from Savio. He was speaking when I, I I cut him off when these pictures came in. Sorry for interrupting there, Savio. But if you can, you know, you can, you can respond now. I wanted to get your your view, your point of view on the timing of the arrest. Savio. You know, while, you know, Niranjan, what I was trying to say is that while to most political parties at this point of time, including the BRS, it might seem that the timing Unable is... Unable to hear you, Savio. I think you're muted. I can't hear you clearly. One second. Can you hear me now? Can you hear okay, me Okay, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 I wasn't getting your audio, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so what I was saying is that political parties like the BRS would at this point of time cry victim and feel that they've been targeted by the, the central forces, in this case, the enforcement directorate. But being somebody as a journalist who has worked with CBI and ED and understand how they operate, I believe it's very important for political leaders who are under investigations to cooperate with the investigation and stop claiming that it is a witch hunt. Eventually, ED and CBI will only work when they have enough evidence and proof to have a case against a particular political Adio. leader because Adio. they know the kind of ramifications going after political leaders have. And therefore, they are extremely careful as far as their investigations and their detention or arrest of political leaders is all about. You can take the case of Arvind Kejriwal. He's been given almost seven summons till now, but he chooses not to attend any of the ED investigations and play politics around it. BRS is rightfully upset about it. But why do you want to be upset? Why can't you cooperate with the investigation? Why the drama by KTR at home? If there is an investigation and if you are innocent, show the people of this country that instead of crying wolf and political vendetta, why not cooperate with the investigations and come out clean if you believe you are clean? Okay, Rahula, I wanted to respond to you. Something to hide. Rahula, yeah, Rahula, what were you saying? I, I heard you say something to Savio there. I want to rebutted. Niranjan, Niranjan, Savio was saying uh, only when uh, ED has complete evidence, they will, you know, arrest and all that. What happened for no, the last one That's not what I said. Year? I said in their investigation. No, no. If, if they have a the doubt, and if Savio, they have Savio, uh, certain Savio, one, reasons one second, to arrest Savio, based on Savio, their Savio, investigations please, please. and Allow certain evidences, speak. that's Allow when they speak. arrest. Savio, do you say the Savio. same thing for now? Uh, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, when well, well, he was arrested no, by the CBI? Wait a second. Akash, 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 wait, 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 Akash, wait. Akashi, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. Akashi, yeah. Akashi, yeah. I want, I want, I want Ravula to respond. Akashi, hold on. Don't, Akashi, don't speak out of turn. I want Ravula to respond to Savio. Let's have a decent debate. I have time. I have time. I'll come to you. Ravula responding to Savio. Yes, Ravula. 
look at the timing niranjan that's what i'm trying to say they have, they have, you know if it is not wishand for the past one and a half years they have been dragging the issue you know we have you know we have been cooperating with the provinces when cbi came she support she you know cooperated then the, we have answered the summons it's a right full right of a citizen of this country you know to take the support rather to go to the judiciary approach the judiciary you know to get you know a protection from the kind of you know a uh, bias behavior from the provinces is we are seeing how ed cbi and it are acting against political opponents so have you have seen many leaders who are facing allegations and cases of ed cbi were you know allowed scot free went scot free after joining bjp mr rao you know this mr, mr. rao with all with are, all my respect for you we are here to call let me let me, let me make my point mr But rao with all I respect know. to you because you are a very know. learned man but where kawai can political leaders leaders like yourself and the people you represent cooperate with investigation why does it have to become a witch hunt and why should it be considered to be a witch hunt in this case every common citizen will continue to say i am witch hunting would a common citizen have the right to do that there is a protection from the rs see what i am asking there is a protection from the rs the case is case is posted for 19th so what is so hurry what is so urgent Exactly a day before the uh, you know election schedule announcement. Exactly when the prime minister is in Hyderabad. What is it BJP wants to show? They want to prove a point that you know look we are acting against these parties and all that. And you you brand but, everybody corrupt and then you arrest them. What is it? What is it? Mr. Problem? Rao, is, wouldn't it work if it was if it was negative towards you? Wouldn't it work to your favor as far as the sympathy goes on the ground? So I is don't a, see what you are complaining sympathy. about. A, you are, you are cooperating with country. the investigation. There is an arrest e. that happens. If the arrest is not legitimate, ED falls flat, and you gain. So why the drama around it? Why play the? It victim? is not the question of gain or loss. Loss, you know. We question the you know wrongful means of the central government. How they can act against the provisions of the law when there is a protection of an arrest. I mean, there is no transit warrant. How can you take her? I mean, the murder is subjudice. Why don't you give us time? It's natural justice. I mean, we we have been cooperating while with the system. While I would like to agree with you, sir, it works in your favor you know, if it's drawn against natural justice. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Have you? Why the system is silent on the leaders who have joined BJP? Why the system is silent on Himan the Biswas Sharma? I Why completely agree with you. Any one right? of the leaders who have joined the BJP and have case got case corruption charges America. against them must also face the same music. I agree with you. I'm not in denial with what you're saying. Yes. I don't agree with any of the political leaders that have joined BJP that have got corruption charges. But why can't BRS cooperate with the investigative agencies? Because if they are wrong, if the investigation yeah, agencies are wrong, me. you I mean, win. Don't you win? We have been cooperating. We have answered their summons. When the matter is subjudice, what is so urgent? Exactly when Prime Minister is in Hyderabad, because BJP wants to scare us, intimidate us. They want to rather you know weaken our party. It's a clear case of conspiracy, joining hands with Congress party in our state. Exactly before the elections, anyone, even a small boy, can understand how this is happening. When this is happening? Why this is happening? And time and again, BJP leaders were issuing no, you know, some kind of fatwas here. He will arrest you, kind of things. Well, I you know, I, I in hindsight, if you look at it, I don't know whether. You, but what, 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 do you think this will help the know, BRS? I think, I think political before the elections, parties, Savio. when they are under investigation by central agencies or any agency for that matter, must cooperate. And you know, the best part, which is what I don't understand. because if ed fails or cbi fails you gain so why not if you feel you are a part of the victim drama why not it's not the expect in our law when you are true we, we are not bjp to get sympathy uh, towards you Savio, justice is matter Savio, of, of the court we don't want to you know i i am sorry for gains and losses in you know political system or elections we don't believe in you know depending upon such things basically we don't want you know, you know So, so you're saying you don't believe in the legal system, Mr. Rao. That's what you're saying. If you don't believe in the legal system, where is a common man to believe in the legal system? 
I said, I said, we me, believe no, in I'm the legal system. You, you, you have you an app, gentlemen you, over here. You are misleading. What stops Arvind Kejriwal from answering the summons of the ED? No, Would an ED summon be, be vitiated no, don't by, by a common person? We believe in the judiciary. Why does Arvind Kejriwal get to do that? What examples are we setting? We believe in the judiciary. Listen, you're not listening to me. We believe in the judiciary. We believe in the legal system. But I said we don't believe in this kind of gains and losses through such activities of intimidation. And we can't, you know, BJP today is stooping down to any level for the political gains, for the electoral gains. It's a clear evidence today. Exactly a day before the, you know, election schedule. It's clear. It's political mission. It's political vendetta. And time and again, BJP leaders issue fatwas here that we will arrest you. So, I mean, anyone can easily understand exactly day before the schedule. This is a clear case of conspiracy. Even in Telangana, Congress joined hands with you know BJP for this kind of an activity. Fine, these things are not going to scare us. I already have told you, we are a party born out of agitation for separate state of Telangana. Cases, jails, suppression, oppression, all these things. It's so common for us, we will fight it out. Fighting in the legal course, fighting in the public is a different issue. But we want the people of the nation to understand the timing of this particular arrest and this kind of an activity, this kind of, you know, uh, police for, you know, uh, force of the provinces on us. It's clearly to weaken us in the, you know, forthcoming elections of Lok Sabha. Okay. Let, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question to Akash Deep Muni as well. Akash Deep Muni, you're, you're uh, usually in favor of the Ahmadmi Party. You argue be on behalf of the Ahmadmi Party sometimes when they don't send their official spokespersons. But there is a sense that uh, now that Kavita has been arrested and she's been taken to Delhi, the focus will increasingly be on Kejriwal. Do you get that feeling as well? And Kejriwal has been the ducking the agency. Not the once, not twice, not three times, yeah. four times, five times, six times, seven times. I've lost count. I don't know how many times he's uh, dodged Eight times. Uh, the ED. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, so he's dodged him yeah. eight times. I'm not sure they're going to let him go. Uh, they are unable to catch him. The BJP is trying to catch him. They are unable to. The only one person who, who BJP is unable to catch him is that Karvin Kejival. Anyway, I want to ask one question to Savio Ji. Savio Ji, you know, remember in 2010, when Honorable Home Minister President Amisha Ji was arrested by Central Bureau of Investigation after many investigation rounds. It was Honorable... Home Minister and Honorable Prime Minister, President Modi ji and Amisha ji told to the whole country that this arrest, these arrests were politically motivated. So do you think that that time while they were saying, they were, a quote unquote, you are saying this, that they were crying political vendetta? When, uh, when our Honorable Prime Minister said that CBI was a caged parrot, you are, are you saying, I am not saying this, are you saying that he was crying political vendetta? How can you say this when you first, know first that CBI enforcement director? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me tell. Let can me I, let me speak. No, 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 you cannot. Is, no, you cannot. No, you cannot. No, Akash, well, let, let me answer speak. you. Since CBI you asked me the question, let me answer you. Are, let me complete Since my you question. asked me the question, CBI let me answer you. Enforcement director. No, wait a minute. Let me answer you. CBI and enforcement director. The question is: Did the did Modi and Amit Shah cooperate in the investigations or not? They, they cooperated the in the investigation. No, 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 they got a clean sheet from the Supreme Court as far as the issues were concerned, and they are out. They are free. Why you are? They sent an example why to the people, the especially for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now, what example is Arvind Kejriwal sending or setting by skipping the ED summons and crying witch hunt every time the ED summons him? Why does he not go and answer that summons, Akash Deep? Why is Arvind Kejriwal not attending the summons? Is Arvind Kejriwal about the law? Is Arvind Kejriwal about being a common citizen? Okay, well, last question. I I want to ask. Now, I want to ask. I want to ask a question. No, no, no. I want to ask a question to to Ravula. I want to ask a question to Ravula. See, Ravula. I mean, it's it's tough times for your party. It is tough times. I mean, you can't deny it. You recently lost the elections. And, uh, you know, there was some stress with uh, the health of uh, Mr. KCR. He was hospitalized for a while. And uh, I believe he's okay now. And now with the arrest of K. Kavita, 
Uh, what is the sense within your party? Where is uh, Mr. KCR now? And, uh, you know, uh, will the family also be shifting to Delhi? Uh, what are you hearing? So, uh, our chief and uh, party president, Sri KCR, is very well is in Hyderabad. And uh, just now, our uh, party uh, former minister, an important leader, Sri Aketya, uh, Sri Harish Rao and other leaders have addressed the uh, uh, press conference here after the arrest. And uh, as you say, yeah, tough times will be there, but you know we, we are here to fight it out. And for BRS party, the agitations and uh, facing the power of the state is nothing new. We have seen a long uh, 14 years agitation under the able leadership of Sri KCR. And then Congress party has done you know many things like this. They tried to rather suppress our agitation and all that, fight it out. And even without the cooperation in the past 10 years, BRS leadership, BRS government has developed the state of Telangana. And in the, from the past two, three years, you know, when, when BJP wanted to grow in the state of Telangana, then they cannot find uh, any ground here. Then they cannot fight on us, fight us on the ground. They have started doing this, you know, applying these kind of tactics. And uh, people of Telangana are seeing this. And people yeah. of the country also are seeing us. Now look yeah. at the case very clearly. In Delhi, Kairi Walsi or in, uh, okay. you know, Mamtaji are here, BRS party. So we are seeing this suppression only, the cases only on the political opponents and whoever joins, I was repeating, whoever joins BJP, they'll go start free. Sablo, matlab, nirma sar, fung log apne karenge, matlab, they'll come out clean. I say, cheese, humko daranenge nahi, these are tactics of damkana or darana nahi chelega, chelega nahi. Hum, is ke cases ladenge and we will fight it out. The truth will come out someday and definitely the justice will be given to us. And I already have told you many a times on this forum, I said, this is a yeah. purely okay. fabrication. There is no proof in it. And it's purely political vishant and political vendetta. No, I'll tell you this. It's it's I, uh, Politically, you can say all of that and you have every right to question the timing. Uh, you have every right. And, and I said that. I mean, you can question the timing for sure, but you cannot... Brass tax, you cannot dismiss the charges. And the charges are, ladies and gentlemen, as, as simple as this. The allegation is that there is a group that the Enforcement Directorate referred to as the South Group, controlled by three people, K. Kavita, Sarath Reddy, Reddy, that gave 100 crore. Is, I, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. There, yes, are, there, there, are, many, there are many South Indians... Doing business in north part of this. No, no, I, 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 I've, I've spoken about I this know, in the past. I disagree. I disagree to the. I disagree. To I disagree to the to the, south the south term, south term south given. Something wrong happened. I, you know, this, I, this, this, this name is I point. agree with you. Only to create. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. They could have called it anything else. They shouldn't have called it the South Group. I agree with you. They shouldn't have called it the South Group. They could have called it anything else. They shouldn't sorry. have called it the South Group. I completely agree with you there. They, they, shouldn't have, they shouldn't have done that. I agree with you. No, if, I agree if, with if, you. If, but if, you cannot if, dismiss if, the charge if, itself. No, 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 no. If, if CBI or ED yes. or somebody, whoever coined this name as South Group, are trying to show uh, you know the South Indians before the country as if we, are, we, we do conspiracies or we do crimes and all. No, this is I, not correct. I, see, I don't think. You know, I, I, I agree with you with that. You, they should not have... They should okay. I agree. Okay, let's let's leave that. That's a settled debate. I don't agree with the with the coinage of of the term of the phrase South Group. I disagree with that. I've said it in the past as well. But you can't deny the charge that there was a hundred crore bribe given. They call it a kickback, and there is a very serious charge that is now being investigated. You can question the timing for sure. The story will continue. We will speak again. Uh, Rahula of the BRS, Akash Deep Muni, and uh, Savio join. Uh, thank you for joining us on the burning question. We'll be in touch. Thank you very much. छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम 
क्या कब कैसे हुआ क्यों हुआ मुझे कुछ नहीं मालूम छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी भारतीय जनता पार्टी का अनन्या बदल लेकिन मैंने हर परिस्थिति में बीजेपी के लिए काम किया है और अब भी करूंगा पहले से कई गुना ज्यादा कर हमने क्या खोया हमने क्या पाया जिंदगी धूप तुम घना साया तुमको देखा तो ये ख्याल आया हम जिसे गुनगुना नहीं सकते हम जिसे गुनगुना नहीं सकते वक्त ने ऐसा गीत क्यों गाया A high level committee headed by former president Ramnath Kovind has recommended simultaneous elections for the Lok Sabha and state assemblies as a first step followed by synchronized local body polls within 100 days time but the question is what is meant by simultaneous elections in the country Well we will answer this and some other questions you may have regarding one nation one election in the country by simultaneous elections well simultaneous elections popularly known as one nation one election means holding elections to the house of the people all the state legislative assemblies and local bodies example municipalities and panchayats together were simultaneous elections held in india earlier is another question well back in 1957 conscious efforts were made by the central government the state governments and political parties on persuasion of election commission of india to prematurely dissolve state legislative assemblies in seven states of Bihar, Bombay, Madras, Mysore, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal as well so that simultaneous elections could be held. Simultaneous elections were by and large in vogue till the fourth general elections of 1967. But with the disruption of the cycle of simultaneous elections thereafter the country now faces five to six elections in a year. If municipalities and panchayat elections are also included the number of elections will increase manifold. Well what is the need for simultaneous elections? Frequent elections burden the government exchequer with additional expenditure. Asynchronous elections cause uncertainty and instability that in turn thwarts supply chains, business investments and economic growth as a whole. Another reason is that staggered elections induce voters fatigue and present a significant challenge in ensuring their participation as well. Now let's look at the advantages of holding simultaneous elections in the country. Well, simultaneous polls will ensure ease and convenience to voters 
avoid voters fatigue and facilitate greater voter turnout conducting elections to all three tiers of the government together would even avoid disruption of supply chains and production cycles due to migrant workers seeking leave of absence to cast their vote Simultaneous elections would also reduce financial burden on the government exchequer by avoiding duplication of expenditure on intermittent elections. Holding of elections once every five years would result in mitigation of social disharmony and conflict, which is often observed during elections. It starts the uh, India's first under tunnel uh, metro, uh, which has been started from the 7 a.m. early in the morning. As per the schedule, uh, when one person from any kind uh, from the any parts of the uh, country who will come to come to uh, Howrah station and can uh, take the metro ride and uh, come to the heart of the metro center. My video journalist Sanjay will show you that if you through the metro window, that 520 meters which we will be calling about, that will be coming a blue light. That was that was the that was the the feelings of the passengers they can uh, feel at least that they are passing through the under tunnel of the river ganges of these 520 meters just a few meters away and it will be uh, it will be looked like a color of a bluish color which is which is the color of a water which will be uh, shown uh, in the in the in the metro from the that that is the between, between mohakaran and the howrah metro howrah metro station which will you can be you can be seen and just just a few just a wait for that i will be showing you that that particular zone for the people who are being who are in the in the metro they are too much excited because this is the under time metro, india's first metro the india's first metro also was in the 1984 14th of october we were 24th of october when it started and after 40 years the first under time metro and if you see this this blue color this blue color is the wonderful blue color this 520 meters from mohakadon to uh, 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 how that's passing away this this color zone that is the minimum filling filling of the passenger minimum filling of the passengers that they can feel that they are beneath the water level of the river Ganges which will show you uh, in this purpose and the people who can uh, at least have, a, the, have, the, have the, that kind of a feel that that kind of a feel which you can enjoy uh, enjoy the passengers and that 520 meter ends that the color changes that blue color ends and this is the color that uh, that it, it also changes uh, so it means remains that that uh, that, the, that the, the passengers who are enjoying this this short route of 4.8 kilometers metro uh, through the under river tunnel and they will reach a Howrah station
15,000 placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking and proactive professionals. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bhopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio model. Neva Bhopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with Just a day after the central government has now issued notification to celebrate 17th September as Hyderabad Liberation Day every year and also at the same time now we are seeing that a movie based on uh, the, the Nizam's rule, the, uh, the Razakar's rule, now a movie is being released on the name Razakar. We have the producer of the film, uh, Gudur Narayan Reddy with us. We'll talk to him and know exactly what exactly. Lead the movie talks about, sir. Uh, the Razakar movie is all set to release on the 15th of March. What exactly does the movie talk about? What message are you trying to put forth through this mo uh, through this movie? First of all, I salute our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for declaring 17 September as a Liberation Day of Hyderabad because it took 75 years for the pseudo secular parties who have ruled our country to not even to consider it. And every time the, some political parties for their electoral benefits used to talk that 17 September should be the official liberation day, it should be celebrated officially. Today, the union, union government headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and also the Home Minister Sri Amit Shah ji has taken a great decision. My salutes to them. Secondly, the movie Razakar is going to talk or depict exactly what happened during those dreadful 396 days post 15th August 1947 till 17th September 1948, till Hyderabad was liberated from the draconian rulers of Telangana, I mean present day Telangana, yesteryear Hyderabad province, headed by Mir Usman Ali Pasha, the then 7th Nizam. He acted so dastardly on his own people that unbelievable things have happened. Not even Nazis have committed such heinous crimes. Nizam has committed. And nobody had the guts to produce this because everyone, okay, because their threat comes and they get scared and all that. I'm not scared. I am son of the soil. I would like to bring out the real story which happened and which was kept under the wraps all these years, seven and a half decades it took. God, see Lord Balaji has enlightened me. When I went to have darshan, as I landed in Renugunta airport, I got a feeling that Razakar in my mind. I thought... Balaji, Lord Bhagavan Balaji is, uh, you know, basically indirectly or directly is giving me a signal that I should take up this subject, which I took up and it has come out very well. It's going to open the minds and also enlighten the present day generation, major, younger generation of our country. They need to know because all this while, whenever we see any books, we see great things about some, you know, Shah Jahan, Akbar and all that. But we never see a bad thing done by a uh, same community guy, Nizam the Seventh. He has done such heinous crimes, committed such heinous crimes that 60,000 rapes of women of his own province and 2 lakh murders of, of the people of his own province and there were innumerable number of lootings done by the Razakars. I would like to, I mean I had a direction from Lord Balaji to produce this movie and I have produced. It has nothing to do with any political uh, sides or any inclinations or any sidings. I was always a good citizen of this country without any criminal record and uh, my sincerity should not be doubted. But sir, also at the same time, um, on one side we had seen that there were a lot of cases which were put uh, uh, to put a hold on this uh, movie release. But now that the timing also of this movie is being questioned because on one side we see that the central government has already issued notification to celebrate uh, Hyderabad Liberation Day every year um, and notification has been issued. But also on the other hand we are seeing that very soon uh, the, uh, uh, the dates for the parliament elections will also be announced. So timing of this release of the movie is being questioned how do you look at it see some civil so civil uh, you know liberties organizations have filed a case which was dismissed by the honorable telangana high court yesterday 
all this while they were objecting by filing petitions with the CBFC, Central Board of Film Certification and all these people. And they could do all kinds of things for scuttling uh, the you know production and completion of this movie. And today, we are in such a situation by the nature, you know, the Almighty and even Panchabhutas are helping us in uh, bringing out the reality, the true, true events that took place, true dreadful uh, events which took place during the Razakar's regime that is headed by Mir Usman Ali Pasha. And you are saying that, you know, to why at this time, uh, dur during the elections, as I already said that, you know, the movie was supposed to have been released during September, October, there were objections then. If I continuously get objections on one reason or the other, I, can, I, I cannot stop it mm. because it has to be shown and I cannot have it. It's a huge financial uh, I mean, uh, I mean budgeted movie without big faces as such, you know, big, big heroes, uh, glam, more bigger, glamorous people by hardworking characters and hardworking you know, uh, actors and actresses have acted in this movie who exactly lived in their, you know, their uh, characters. Mm. They have entered into that and lived as that character. For example, whether it is Nizam or Nizam, I mean, uh, right-hand man, Khasim Rizvi, or another guy, gentleman called Rajaridi who fought against in Bairanpalli, or Nizam's wife, or uh, Shantava, so many, or even Tej Sapru acting as uh, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, Makran Deshpande, I mean, uh, Raj Arjun as uh, uh, Hasim Rizvi, the most dreadful f person uh, of the uh, Esther years. We have tried our best to bring out a beautiful movie, which will be, which has been picturized well and uh, good effects are there because we have to go back to seven and a half decades to produce exactly those sequences and those sceneries mm -hmm. and those palaces and buildings. We have done an excellent job. Our entire cast and crew have done a good job. I have only produce the history in the form of a cinema. Yeah. There is no fiction. There is no imaginary story in this. Hardly any one, two percent you can see any imaginary things. Otherwise, it is all to enlighten the present day generation. Our country is called as the youngest country in the world. And in our country, out of 142 crores, 100 crore population is younger, which are, who are aged between 18 to 35 years. So this particular generation need to know how to safeguard their future and their kids and their grandchildren and all that. Only then, unless and until these people are educated about this, no new Razakars will be born in this country. Right, so thank you so much. So that was uh, the producer of the film, Guru Narayan Reddy, speaking to us on Republic TV, says that this film depicts the what exactly had happened back then during the Nizam rule and the movie will be released uh, uh, worldwide on the 15th of March and also at the same time we are seeing that opposition parties are definitely questioning the timing or the release of the movie. This is Anirish Shavat, traditional listeners here for Republic TV. Update your Aadhaar details for free and keep your information up to date. The Unique Identification Authority of India or UIDAI has once again extended the deadline for citizens to update their Aadhaar details free of charge. Originally set for March 14, 2024, the deadline has been pushed back to June 14, 2024 to accommodate individuals who obtained their Aadhaar cards over a decade ago. This extension aims to facilitate the revalidation of demographic information by urging citizens to submit proof of identity and proof of address documents. The UIDAI has stressed the importance of keeping Aadhaar information up to date to enhance service delivery and authentication efficiency. UIDI took to microblogging site X and announced the extension of the free online document upload facility until June 14, 2024. This is to benefit millions of Aadhaar holders with the service exclusively available on My Aadhaar portal. UIDAI has been encouraging people to keep documents updated in their Aadhaar. For those who prefer physical Aadhaar centers, a fee of Rs 50 is applicable for updating details. Steps to update Aadhaar details online. Visit the official UIDAI website. 
access My Aadhaar portal from the home page and log in using the Aadhaar number and the OTP received on the registered mobile number. Review the displayed profile information and confirm the accuracy of the details by ticking the verification box. If any errors are identified in the demographic information, select the relevant identity document from the drop-down menu. Upload the required documents in the designated formats, that is JPEG, PNG or PDF. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bhopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio model. Neva Bhopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. studios of Republic TV. It's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Swami on the debate at 9, presented by Amity University, powered by R.P. Sanjeev Goenka, Century Club Prime and Policy Bazaar. Good evening and welcome viewers. So tomorrow the election commission will announce the dates for the general election of 2024 and that announcement will be in a press conference at 3 o'clock. So by roughly 4 o'clock, 4.30, we'll know the dates when your part of the country will go through general elections, when you will be voting in the next election. And as you all know, this is part of a process. Last time also, uh, the election dates were announced around the 10th of March 2020, uh, 2019. And the new government was sworn in by the end of May in 2019 this time it's about five days later very much on time the new Lok Sabha has to be constituted as per the rules the term of the present Lok Sabha ends on the 16th of June and therefore a new house has to be constituted before that so everything is on track ladies and gentlemen what is not on track is the preparation of the opposition this is a very one-sided election whichever way you want to look at it and it's not a question of uh, giving it a spin. The fact is that the opposition this time seems totally lost and totally underprepared. It is clutching for straws. It is having its Chokidar Chorhe moment. It is looking for support from certain sections of the media. Certain people who call themselves public intellectuals are giving them moral support. But increasingly, even among those people, who are the core base of the anti-BJP group, they are coming to the conclusion that this election is a lost election for them. Firstly, there is no unity in the opposition. We are one month away. There has not been one single joint opposition rally, I repeat. There has not been one single joint opposition rally. One. Two, the alliances have dwindled. They were trying to bring together an alliance, then the JDU left the India alliance, the TMC ditched the India alliance. There is no clear status on the situation between the Maharashtra partners. And you have seen what happened in Kerala where the CPIM is fielding a candidate against Rahul Gandhi. Now what remains? What remains viewers is whether the BJP can cross the 50% mark. Now that will require a 10% swing. Is a 10% swing possible? Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. But not impossible. Now, when was the last time any party in our country got about a 50% of the vote? 
I think if I'm not mistaken, it was around 1984, where after Indira Gandhi's assassination, there was a sympathy vote and the Congress had climbed to about 40, 48, 47, 48 percent. The Prime Minister sets a target of 370. If 370 is what the BJP needs to get, then it has to fight for somewhere close to 45 to 50 percent of the vote share. That means the Prime Minister is looking for a 6 to 7 percent, 8 percent swing in favor of the BJP in this election. Is there, a, is there a tsunami towards that? Is there a psychological momentum towards that? Is there a sentiment towards that? It's difficult to say. There isn't any X factor moment this time. But having said that, the BJP is within reach. And why am I saying so? I think the BJP is within reach of 370 for three or, three or four basic reasons. One, remember viewers, that the BJP was a runner-up in 72 seats. It finished third on 31 seats. It won 309 seats on its own. And on top of that, it was second or third, which means it was very much in the fight in 103 seats. Now, if you look at the 133 seats, where the BJP lost last time, out of those in 72 seats, BJP came second. Out of the 72 seats where the BJP came second, 22 were in Bengal. In these 22 seats, there are 12 seats in Bengal alone, where the BJP lost with a margin of less than 10%. This very much indicates that if the BJP works very hard, picks up the momentum in Bengal, then it can really try and work things around and take its tally beyond 25-26 easily in Bengal. Then there is Odisha. In Odisha, there are 11 seats where the BJP came second. Out of these, there are four seats where the BJP came a close second. And if the BJP works hard, it can increase its tally there. And finally, viewers, I am also betting on Tamil Nadu, though the alliance has not been announced there. But there are five seats in Tamil Nadu where the BJP came second. If the BJP goes all out in Tamil Nadu, will it be able to convert these five seats into victorious seats or at least get three seats there? <laughs> Viewers, we can keep looking at the number. Bottom line is, there is no united opposition. The opposition is unprepared. And the Prime Minister is putting everything possible, like never before, into this particular election. If you look at the way he's traveled over the last 100 days, he's made four visits to Rajasthan alone, five to Gujarat, seven to Uttar Pradesh, five visits to Tamil Nadu. He has been to Jammu and Kashmir twice. He's been to Bihar twice and Bengal three times. Do you get a sense of what his electoral strategy is? He's been to Assam twice. Do you see a sense of where his electoral strategy is? He's going all out. And ladies and gentlemen, Therefore, this means it's a pure and pure and pure and pure Modi referendum election. I call this the election, which is the Modi referendum election. It's purely a referendum on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. That's how I look at it. I come to you with two debates tonight. There have been interesting developments. First of all, the, the first three debates tonight. The first is, of course, about the imminent excitement about the announcement of the election dates tomorrow and how things are how things are placed and how things are panning out before that. At 10 o'clock this evening, viewers, the arrest of K. Kavita uh, picked up from her house and brought to Delhi. Now, who's next? Could it be Kejriwal? And debate three this evening. Uh, the Supreme Court says it will hear the question of an interim stay on CA on, uh, on Tuesday. My own bet is that the, it will not entertain any stay on the CA. Uh, I don't think the Supreme Court will get into policy decisions of the government, but we'll have to see. That's the third debate and here are the headlines. This Friday evening, ladies and gentlemen, on the debate tonight. Election dates are to be announced tomorrow. 3 p.m. is the press conference of the Election Commission in which the exact dates, phases of voting will be announced. KCR's daughter K. Kavita arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in connection to the Liquor Gate probe. 
After mega searches, high drama and a big arrest, K. Kavita is flown into the national capital. BJP firefights rebellion in Karnataka, Ishwarappa says will contest elections as an independent. Supreme Court to hear pleas challenging the citizenship law on Tuesday. All eyes are on the big hearing. And the Supreme Court pulls up the SBI once again for not sharing complete data on electoral bonds. Ask for unique numbers linked to bonds to be put out. The moment is finally here tomorrow at 3 o'clock. The Election Commission holds a huge press conference and that press conference starts the build-up to the biggest news event once every five years. The biggest news event by far. A thousand times bigger than any event, ladies and gentlemen. The general elections of India. And this time the announcement is at 3 o'clock. We expect elections to start somewhere on mid-April mid mid and carry on till roughly... Uh, second week of May, but we'll have to see. Uh, everything is very much on track. That's live coverage for that tomorrow. In the run-up to that, as I repeat once again, there is complete confusion, disunity, disharmony, and a lack of any cohesion within the opposition. This is an election which I call the Modi referendum election. Let's debate. Party, party. The battleground is set for the 2024 grand finale. Ab Kerala ke log bhi keh rahe hain, ab ki baar 400 paar, ab ki baar itna nano riladigam. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, Prime Minister Modi has spearheaded. BJP's mega Vixit Bharat push by holding 52 rallies in the last 100 days. One cannot miss Prime Minister's historic temple visits, back to back rallies in southern states, all this even as BJP seeks to make inroads in the south. देशवासी with Chandrababu Naidu, Nitish Kumar and Naveen Patnaik joining the NDA, BJP-led bloc seems to be clear favourites in the polls. You are still here, so that we are very happy to have a great deal. You were first and we were going to die, but we are the Indy, on the other hand, is still struggling to keep its block united. The seat-sharing formula is yet to be chalked out by the Mahagadi in Maharashtra. With the RLD and TMC deserting Indy and left in the crosses of the Congress in Kerala, the opposition seems to be in a disarray. Yaha LDF, UDF, Dono Larne ka dikhawa to kar rahe hai. Lekin Dilli jakar ek dusre ko gale mil jate hai. Congress or left in Dono ne hi Kerala ko as the Election Commission announces the poll dates tomorrow, can the Indy catch up with NDA's game plan?
Let's debate. Former member of parliament, senior journalist, columnist uh, Swapan Das Gupta is with us tonight uh, to set up debate number one this evening. Swapan Das, dates tomorrow. Uh, every election, every general election generally revolves around one theme. What is the theme in your view for the 2024 general election, the overriding theme? Well, the first thing is that, I, I mean, I'm talking about the pure administration of the election. I think, you know, it's worth complementing the election commission for me, getting the elections better and better over the years. Now, yes, there are certain issues which are still there. I think West Bengal is one of the issues which is still nagging everybody's, uh, which is irritating everybody. But overall, we are seeing a free and fair election, a competitive election, a well-administered election and an election which is governed by rules. And I think that's, firstly, we must complement the Election Commission for getting it that, regardless of whether they do do it in five phases, six phases or eight phases. That's the first thing, I think. And, and uh, Swapanda, do you, you, you find it interesting there's no EVM build up to an EVM complaint this time from the opposition? <laughs> there will be, or, or no, don't fear that, don't fear that. You know, there's a habit in India of the losers always saying that it's been manipulated. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely Indian tradition whereby the EVMs come under scrutiny. But I think the EVMs are robust, and I, the reason why they are so good and they're so credible is because they are very simple. They are not connected with the internet. Had they been connected with the internet, yes, we could have been talking about how satellites can influence the manner in which the outcome is de de determined. No. What is, of course, necessary to be uh, screened a little more and a scrutiny has to be done very, very carefully is to make sure that the results as they come out of the EVM machines are actually noted correctly. By which I mean that if, for instance, party X gets 100 votes and a party Y gets 20 votes, make sure that at the time when you're tabulating it, it the, the order is not reversed. I have seen that happening in quite a lot number of places in the past. Uh, you think that this is the most personality-centric election in the history of independent India? As in a well, referendum all, of the like, All elections have been personality-centric in this way. What is different from this election, say, compared to uh, the election of 1971, which I still remember as a schoolboy, or some other election, is that the you see, the mass media covers it so thoroughly, and there's a sort of sense of carpet bombing over a, over a particular candidate, over a particular leader. So Mr. Modi, I think, dominates this election far more than anyone else has been, thanks to the adept use of technology. But more than that, I think what's very important is that there are multiple messages. Mr. Modi's appeal is not based on one thing. It's based particularly on performance. And I think that's a big, big shift that there are, you can take about five or six issues. You, you can take a bouquet of things and say, look, I like Modi because of Ram Mandir. I like Modi because of the manner in which the economy is there. I like Mr. Modi because he's made India strong. I like Mr. Modi for something else. I like Modi, Mr. Modi for his welfare program. So you have a pick. You, you can actually pick from various things. And that's what makes this election very interesting, that Mr. Modi is today appealing to a multiple uh, to multiple sections based on performance. He always used to say, judge me by my report card. And I think he's given a report card where he's got A's in, you know, multiple subjects. But is this, is this, I mean, what would be, what, I mean, both issues are important, the ideological base of the BJP, the ideological leaning of BJP supporters with so many people outside the BJP joining the BJP. Has that got diluted somewhat? Well, you know, 
there are a lot of, you know, some BJP people, of course, undeniably have said, look, these people are joining, their their track record is not particularly good. And, you know, some the the sort of moral uh, integrity quotient is a bit low, etc. Now, I think one of the reasons why they're doing it is to make sure that today you're trying to build an election. You're trying to build an election campaign where you've set an exacting target. And I think one of the problems, one of the issues why it's there is that if, if you've set a target that you're going to get 400 seats as your target, then you have to mop up everything in there. Mr. Amit Shah once spoke, uh, to, to said that, you know, the target in every constituency has to be 50% of the popular vote because... Anything less than the others, you you can have the other others things about alliances, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But to achieve that fifty percent, you have to also give importance to those five percent here, three percent here, that sort of thing. So uh, it is a it's a strategy which does not always appeal to the ideologically pure, but it's a strategy based on ruthless calculation. But 50% has not happened ever. But 50% has never happened in our country. Even in 1984, Congress got 48%. You know, 50% is such a, you know, it's such an impossible target. In the 50s, it used to be said that you can't conquer Everest. And today, you're actually trying to uh, to, to climb, to reach the peak of the electoral Mount Everest. So it's a it's 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 a huge, huge challenge. And without a war, without something, you're doing it in normal peacetime. So between now, Swapanda, you know, always the BJP plays the you know the slog overs very well. Uh what do you expect the BJP strategy to change? Say between they always have something, you know, probably they've not announced, always seem they always seem very Blase about the last run-up, saying we've done good work, we don't need to do anything uh, massively euphoric or excitable towards the very end. But my question to you is, do you think the BJP will pull something out between now and, uh, say, first week of May? You or see, do they need to? At, uh, if you look at the Prime Minister, manner in which the Prime Minister has fought elections, whether in Gujarat or in in, in uh, as Prime Minister both as chief minister and as prime minister, you'll find one thing. That first, there is the emphasis, there is the uh, uh, saturation coverage of as many constituencies as possible, where he talks in particular about his performance, particularly his performance and track record, what the government has achieved. And he's done that. Then comes another point. The next and the final stage of it, when something a little more emotive comes up. And the reason why this emotive thing is done is basically to motivate the committed, the carders, to come out and give their best. And I see that. So when you're talking about, will he pull something, will he get a new sort of rabbit out of the hat? Yes, of course, I believe that there will happen. And especially in the say, the final phase of the election, you're likely to see something which will actually motivate the committed BJP voters to give their best. Otherwise, the danger of complacency, the danger of saying, Are, oh, to jeet to gya hai, as you're saying, because this time the opposition to, to the BJP is not that formidable. The, uh, the India alliance has not really taken off. And there is there is a certain sense of uh, there is a foregoneness to this entire election at one time. So under the circumstances, you need to motivate people to get to, to that four hundred plus. So last time the BJP got three hundred nine on its own. What's your assessment this time? Your assessment, your assessment, not the BJP. Well, I mean, you know, Arnav, I was listening to your uh, assessment uh, before the uh, yes. before yes. started the, this segment, and you quite clearly pointed out that there are twenty seats in the east which are there in uh, for the BJP to pick up, yes. and then that's sort of taking into account northeast Assam, uh, Orissa, West Bengal. That's twenty seats. Now, if there are on top of that. 
if about 10 to 15 seats can be added in from the south, 10 seats, you know, it'll be a huge, spectacular achievement. You know, it, 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 it's a, in, in terms of its importance, it's it, it's going to be phenomenal. Now, uh, and the point of maximizing whatever is there in your strongholds, you know, the, there are uh, opinion polls uh, of, you know, varying credibility. But all of them say one thing, that the BJP is on the verge of maximizing its strength almost in its strongholds and making big inroads there. So I'm not going to get, to get into numbers. All I can say is that in the first week of the campaigning, if you see that sort of, you know, sometimes the extent of support or antipathy, as the case may be, uh, for a particular cause is not immediately apparent. But once the campaign starts, once the candidates are announced, and if you see that momentum building up steadily, then you'll know that, yes, they are somewhere within smelling distance of that uh, you know, so-called impossible target of 400 seats. I think so. So, but you know, I, I find the prime minister's very sort of uh, calm observation where he said, people ask me, how do I uh, turn things into successes? And he said that because I have, I don't remember the exact Hindi, but it was translated into, I have the ability to anticipate the future. And obviously the prime minister has anticipated something as a political observer, which is why he stuck his neck out to 370. He didn't do so. Prime Minister has not has not ever become a number predictor in any election so far that I've seen at the national level. First time he's done no, it. He so that's been, why but curious. I I'll give you an example of West Bengal, where I've seen him, you know, sort of come in and West Bengal, where the morale of the BJP was at its lowest after the 2021 elections, because not least because of the post poll violence. How the mood gradually has been, you know, been lifted. And Amit Shah first came in and said, we need 35 seats out of the 42. That's our yeah. target. But Modi ji yeah. came in, the Prime Minister came in and said, we are there in the contest in all 42 seats. Now, whether you're in the contest in all 42 seats or not, what it basically means is that you're going to give your best. And what's interesting this time is that you're likely to get support. You know, you, you, you've broken all those caste barriers, you've broken and all those demographic, quite a lot of things. There are some issues which still remain, but by and large, those caste and social barriers are there. You're getting the support of people from all classes, from all, nearly all castes. And on top of that, if certain sections come and vote for you in multi, in, in with a great deal of enthusiasm, and I'm talking about basically the youth and women, then on top of that, you get the beneficiaries of the welfare pro programs complementing it. Then I think, you know, we could uh, see some spectacular results, you know, the type of which we probably haven't seen for a very, very long time. And 84 was, you know, in, in some cases, yeah. 1984, we saw spectacular results in large parts of India. This time, yeah. we may see similar sort of things. Okay, we're keeping watch on that. Swapandas so, Gupta was setting this up beautifully once again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You've got to be with me on counting day, by the way, Swapanda. Come what may. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Tuhin Sinha is with us. I can see Mr. Savarwal of the Congress Party with us. Uh, and we have, of course... Uh, Reena Gupta of the Aam Aadmi Party, Arka Kumar Nag, uh, backs the TMC and uh, welcome all of you. So, uh, dates tomorrow. Uh, Reena, first thoughts from you, dates tomorrow. And I have been saying this for a while that the opposition had an opportunity to put things together. But dates are out tomorrow, not one single rally together. You have an alliance in Delhi, but at a national level, the India alliance is not looking good. Is looking increasingly one way, and this is being seen as a Modi referendum election. Uh, you know, not how you would have liked things to be six months back. Can't hear you. I, can you unmute yourself, please, Rina?
Hello? Yeah, I, I can you yeah, hear me? I can hear you now. Yeah, now loud and clear. Yes. Arnab, what I was saying was that why do you keep saying it's a referendum on Mr. Modi? अगर मोदी जी के नाम पे ही वोट पड़ने थे तो दिल्ली के सारे कैंडिडेट्स क्यों बदलने पड़े अगर आपको प्रधानमंत्री के चेहरे पे वोट मिलेगा तो इनके बड़े बड़े दिग्गज जो हैं जयंत सिन्हा मीनाक्षी लेखी नितिन पटेल वाई आर ऑल ऑफ दीज गाइज केयर्ड फ्रॉम कंटेस्टिंग द इलेक्शन टुडे द बिगेस्ट इशू इज दैट द No, no, it's from your end. I, I'm having a problem of your audio. Just one minute. I, is the audio through, Aditi? Can I be given instructions? I'm not getting your audio in. I let Mr. Sabarwal take that. Can we fix the audio second time, please? Please, Reena, can you check if you're not muted? We'll check with your live view unit also. But I'll give that to Mr. Sabarwal till then. Uh, Reena, sorry to stop your flow, Mr. Yeah. Sabarwal. Ah, ja rahe, ja rahe. I can hear you now. Please continue, Dina. Yes. Uh, Aditi, she, I could just hear her say, speak to me. So can she speak, continue to speak? Dina, can you say something, please? Okay, Mr. Sabarwal, please continue. Please continue. Mr. Sabarwal, sorry. Uh, good evening, Arnab, uh, to all your viewers also. Uh, Reena was telling that uh, the BJP has replaced candidates in Delhi. BJP is only doing one thing. They are breaking the people from our party. They are taking them with the help of the agencies. And they are giving the tickets to them. All ex-congressmen are getting tickets in BJP. So this kind of performance they have got because they are so much, they have no, their cadre is not with them. They have no candidates. They have no, not done any work. This is, this is only a myth they have created. Now the, the ball is not because the downfall of their started. You know, the election commissioner has resigned. The electoral bonds has totally exposed the most, Mr. Modi's agenda. Totally bogus. I think in the whole, in the country, like India, it has never happened since last 75 years of the independence. The corruption level, Mr. Modi is totally exposed, totally bogus leader. He is totally, people are talking on the roads, totally corruption. Electoral bonds is the biggest scam which this government has done. They have cheated each of us. Each Indian has been cheated by his only jumlas, only good speeches he can give. Nothing more he can perform. He doesn't know how to perform. He's not fit to remain the Prime Minister. He must resign today itself because the way in which the Supreme Court has openly exposed his total scam. But, but it's Mr. a shameless Sabarwal. part of the front of the, of the part of Mr. Modi but, and Beijing. But Mr. Part. Sabarwal, why don't you why don't you announce Rahul Gandhi from Amity first? We'll announce definitely. I, I mean, instead of talking such things out, why don't you announce Priyanka two, Gandhi from Rai Bareilly? With to you, I respect you too much, you know. You are not well. Still, again, you are not well, I've been told that. And still you are debating for your viewers on the national, on your channel. I am proud of you. But your name is Arnab. When you call me Indy, I give me a pain. I am India Alliance, the Indian National Development Inclusive Alliance. Don't call us with our, don't call us Indy Indy. This is, this hurts us. How you can change our name? My parents' name cannot be changed. My name cannot be changed. India, Hindustan, Bharat cannot be changed. Arnab Goswami is Arnab Goswami. Republic TV is Republic TV. Mr. Narendra Modi Rahul Gandhi is Mr. Rahul Gandhi. It isn't it laughable? This alliance has been in place for more than one year and till now they haven't done a single public meeting. For one year this whole alliance has been put in place and they have met only six times. We did. We did. Shocking. Doesn't it show the state Why of affairs that the opposition is finding itself? Will tell you, At least in the 2019, will there was a slogan. The people of right? India. They don't the even people have of a India. slogan only. The people of they India. People of our message. country. People of our country so will tell you. Sir, the better please. Sir, I was I hearing you for the past several minutes. Please pause.
Hold for wait for two months. Hold wait wait for two months for getting zero Season. seats in entire North North India. Started. Why are you so enthusiastic? Sir? Your enthusiasm is matched by the India Alliance people. You have a better state. Bring out the electoral bonds the issue. Right you now, people you are only given given ticket to ex congressmen. In Delhi, you have given to Ram Singh Badhuri. He's ex congressman. Important plants have to be removed. You need. Asrut people Arre, to fill in the rank and file. We have the problem Bangladesh. with the opposition there is that you have zero there credibility no left. Media. You have there are zero no issues left. You, you have people no are taking left. advantage of this technology. In the Gandhi has created. You don't have a leadership. She has divided with Pakistan. Pakistan. You can't even see eye to eye to each other. Wherever Rahul Gandhi goes, I, the alliances I, are broken. I don't. I don't. Right uh, one now, one the election the dates are tomorrow. You see what Rahul Gandhi does. The, the election. The election Trump dates are tomorrow. Trump level. How much the, 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 the merit of the democracy, right? The merit of the democracy. The election. Where? What? What? Yeah. The state of affairs. The, 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 the election state dates state are tomorrow. Echo that sentiment. The election dates are tomorrow. May I? May one minute? One minute. I don't know that there is there is no yatra. There is I just know that there is there are four luxury buses. <laughs> what yatra? In which, in, in which, in which, in how can you do it? Chill out. You only. It was getting too hot in India, so he went to London. Black specs you are wearing. No, Mr. Sabarwal, I'm a well wisher of your party. Black specs you are wearing. I believe there is no there is there is there is there is no there is no future of the Congress party till the Vadra Gandhi family is running. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Sabarwal, I'll take it to uh, Rina and Tuhin. Rina, when I every time I give you an opportunity to speak, you say BJP is this, BJP is bad, Modi is bad, this bad. There is no food, there is no air, there is pollution, there is problem, there is this, whatever, whatever. Now, but what is your issue? You have to understand you are up against a very, 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 very formidable opponent. There has to be one issue rather than say they are bad. So I'm giving you 30 seconds. The dates are tomorrow. Tomorrow are the dates. What is the one issue? Negative campaign won't help you. Think about it, Reena. It gets boring, you know, every time you say they are bad. What is, what is your issue? What is your agenda? Why should people vote for you? Not because they are bad. What do you bring to the table? Can I speak now, Arnab? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Yes, loud and clear. Yes. Arnab, we are the only party that says before every election, if we have done a job, then we have to vote. We have never heard चीज के लिए वोट नहीं मांगते हैं हम सिर्फ बोलते हैं कि हमने काम किया हो तो हमें वोट देना मैं चैलेंज करती हूं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रवक्ता और जितने प्रॉक्सी प्रवक्ता हैं पिछले इलेक्शन में जो उन्होंने पांच वादे किए थे पंद्रह लाख सबके अकाउंट में आएंगे 2022 तक सबके पास मकान होगा सौ स्मार्ट सिटी होंगी रुपया डॉलर के बराबर हो जाएगा फलाना ढिमाका उनमें से एक कोई वादा पूरा किया हो इन्होंने तो आज ये बोले पहली बात दूसरी बात जो सबसे बड़ा इशू इस समय है जो मोदी जी ने पिछली बार चुनाव लड़ा था उन्होंने कहा था ना मैं खाऊंगा ना खाने दूंगा कल इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स का जो डेटा सामने आया उससे क्लियर हो गया है कि उनका नया नारा है हमें भी खिलाओ खुद भी खाओ सब मिल बांट के खाएंगे जो टॉप थर्टी डोनर है उनमें से अर्नब 22 डोनर्स ऐसे हैं जिनके घर ईडी और सीबीआई की रेड हुई तो जो सबसे बड़ा अचीवमेंट भारतीय जनता पार्टी का है पहले जमाने में होता था कि बाहुबली आके इलेक्शंस की रिगिंग करते थे बाहुबली की जरूरत नहीं है आज के जमाने में भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने ईडी और सीबीआई को बाहुबली बनाया है आप देखिए आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नेम टू थ्री ऑफ दीज इंस्टेंसेज फ्यूचर गेमिंग कंपनी दो अप्रैल को उनके यहां रेट पड़ी सात अप्रैल को उन्होंने इलेक्ट्रोल बॉन्ड्स खरीदे और बिंदो फार्मा दस अगस्त को उनका एमडी अरेस्ट हुआ पंद्रह नवंबर को उन्होंने बॉन्ड्स खरीदे ऐसे कितने एग्जांपल्स हैं अर्नब आज रेट पड़ी पंद्रह दिन बाद बॉन्ड खरीदा तो इससे बड़ा इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइज करप्शन भारत के इतिहास में नहीं हुआ 
आज देश के सामने सबसे बड़ा मुद्दा यह है कि आपने पूरे देश को लूट के सब कुछ कुछ ऐसे लोगों के नाम कर दिया जिससे आपको इलेक्ट्रोल बॉन्ड्स मिले अर्नब यू रिमेंबर दैट केस वेर देर वॉज द टनल इन उत्तराखंड वेर सम ऑफ आर पीपल वर ट्रैप्ड इन साइड द टनल नाउ इट टर्न आउट द कंपनी दैट वॉज मेकिंग द टनल नव युग इंजीनियरिंग उन्होंने भी इनको इलेक्ट्रोल बॉन्ड्स का चंदा दिया तो जिस किसी ने चंदा दिया उस किसी को इन्होंने प्रोजेक्ट्स दिए इन, ये इन, इनका गेम चल रहा है पिछले इन, दस सालों से तो इन वेरी क्लियर आई वांट अ रिस्पांस ऑन दिस वन मिनट वन मिनट If they are honest, Arnab, they should. Yours is a is a is a highly watched program. They should agree on your channel tonight that they will reveal all the names of their donors. They do that. We are ready to reveal all the names of our donors. अगर चंदा लिया है तो खुल के आके सामने नाम बताओ ना किससे चंदा लिया है कोई प्रो को अगर नहीं हुआ है तो डरते क्यों हो क्यों छुप रहे हो क्यों सुप्रीम कोर्ट को बार बार डांट लगानी पड़ रही है चंदा लिया है तो आप चल रहे रीना रीना वन मिनट रीना यू मेड योर पॉइंट बट कैन हैव एवरी वन ऑन सिंपल पॉइंट आई एम मेकिंग तो हिन I But asked I the one question, which is the most important issue. I'll give you. I'll give you. No, 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 no,
even after a raid but did the raid stop i think that is the important question the raid probably in all cases the raid went on the investigation went on you know those people uh, those parties who no, the raid did meeting, not go on the raid those stopped. parties who have been used to the raid getting stopped. money but, uh, in cash yeah, this will is never going. accept the politics will of this never country is accept my my uh, uh, okay then hear me can i be louder on this can i be louder on this my counter first i have a couple of counters here to the aam aadmi party respond, spokesperson no uh, before responding you take my question reena can i respond aurobindo please note the name note the name aurobindo pharma is aurobindo pharma does it seem familiar to you reena is it the same company whose director was sharath reddy who has become approver in 2023 in liquor gate would you like to comment on aurobindo pharma why don't you want to comment when i ask you yes, sir, more no, direct questions yes i can questions. comment allow me the time aurobindo pharma yes so arnav yes. first of all to respond to tuhin sena the whole list is not out the whole list is not out there are many companies yeah. which appear to be shell companies and i'll give one example this company called quick supply it gave 360 crores in donation and the company only has 21 crores in profit the directors of quick supply and the directors of many of the reliance group companies appear to be the same the address appears to be the same where many of the reliance group companies are listed so to in sina there are many shell companies the pandora's box has not opened yet many more shells are going to come out and in we'll see in many cases that there are companies which are are running into losses and are giving hundreds of crores to bhartiya janata party how do you explain that a company that has no money that has no profit is giving donations to bhartiya janata party arnab to answer your question on aurobindo pharma it's very interesting that you asked that question this is one of the companies that has been listed in the so called alleged liquor scam where not a single rupee has been recovered till now aurobindo pharma the md gets raided on 10th august 2022 they become approver in the in the alleged liquor scam right after they give give donations in electoral bonds so it's almost like they are giving money to be allowed Twin. to become an approver in this case you you <coughs> see the chronology Twin. in all of this uh, arnab yeah. you know there can be like hundreds of tv programs if arnab, you just go through the arnab, chronology the of case, all these the events case has not been withdrawn how the is it that you are allowing all, companies you know i mean this is primarily the reason profit this is primarily the reason why you know the, 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 that to me ऑफ you know all of you people mr sabarwal used to believe that rafael will be the turning point of the last election it was not so all of you people are believing that electoral bonds are going to be the number one issue when you very well know that you have skeletons to hide kevinter exactly. food park infra limited i want me i'll tell you because because all of you i because if you are asking me the question because all of you are beneficiaries it's not only bjp somewhere we have to stop this No, no, but you are you are the biggest beneficiary. Congress party got thousands of crores. What are you? Who are you preaching to? Rajat can tell you how much money you got. We are not having the money. Income tax has seized our accounts already. Can I come in? Income tax has already seized our accounts. Come in now. Accounts. Mega, mega group is the biggest group in Telangana. We have no money. The biggest Congress beneficiary. 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 Congress a concerned person over there has been under investigation is still under investigation a look at the second entity santiago martin where is he active he is active in tamil nadu there are accusations in certain news articles that you know online uh, gaming was stopped so that they could aid santiago martin and his illicit operations in gambling in the state of which states tamil nadu kerala west bengal these are the states where santiago martin has his operations in till now the data of who funded uh, 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 who whose money did mega reach to 
whose money Santiago Martin's money reached to, that data is still not out. In all likelihood, both these part, both these entities would have supported the Congress parties in their could respective states a, of Telangana as well as in, this, in Tamil Nadu. So, can sir, this become an election this, issue? Why the, the data not out? out and why Amad you put out the data? Why are you trying to hide the data? When what there are two prominent, at least three prominent leaders are inside the jail right now on corruption charges. So you cannot take a moral high ground, madam. Today, Kanta has been arrested. Has to Tomorrow, be your leader might as well be arrested. The corruption has and to go from political system. And there are a considerable number of uh, uh, evidences on the table, which is allowing the courts to keep uh, and, and detain these people inside the inside the jail, and they are not getting Arto. bail. They are stuck under Arto. the tribal facts with the courts. You Arto, I, I wish, I wish, I wish. Uh, by the way, Arko, I hope, I hope, I we wish Mamta Banerjee speedy recovery. Though the mystery of who pushed her inside her own house yeah. and who injured her should be the subject of a proper investigation. I mean, if these kind of things are happening inside Mamta Banerjee's house, if somebody is pushing her, attacking her, beating her inside her house, we are all very concerned yeah, yeah. how these things yeah, have it's happened. A you know? issue. It's a very serious issue. Yeah. But anyway, now, now what is the singular I, issue I, in your view uh, in this election? I personally would like to believe... Well, Arnab, there is, I would agree with you partially that it is about a referendum, but the referendum is uh, not about Mr. Modi, but it is more about uh, whether and uh, how the people of India would like to, you know, stand by their democratic rights, their freedom, their GDP, their employment schemes, their economics and all the other factors. Also, the vindictive attitude of the government uh, at various stages, at various uh, places they have been going in the name of you know transparency and uh, corruption free uh, state because we already saw that the uh, Supreme Court of India uh, went ahead and you know rejected and declared one of their transparency steps which is uh, the electoral bonds to be unconstitutional which must have been and which should be taken you know as a very important thing because Supreme Court feels that the government's actions uh, to make something transparent is unconstitutional because they did not find reasons with it and I believe uh, PM care funds will also be disclosed very soon and it, I hope that as uh, soon the elections is declared the PM care funds also comes to light because but, that but will help Arko, the Arko, of maybe you have forgotten Arko, that, uh, Arko, the, 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 the battle the battle is between the BJP and the opposition parties the way some of you people are talking you are trying to make it look like the election battle is between the bjp or the government and uh, the supreme court it's not the supreme court is not the opposition and it will never be well thank you, you, you people, people, thank you you, Arnab, you people you have, are, you have brought the thing if, now if, the situation uh, is as the political parties if, are if, being if, constantly vindicated by the government it is the supreme court which needs to come forward and no, but have opposition parties the supreme court has said it no 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 this is too much you are expecting the supreme court to perform a political role how can you talk like that how can you try and give a quasi political function to the supreme court these matters no, have been no, brought no, before the Supreme no. Court earlier supreme and they have said no. Playing the Tomorrow you'll want the Supreme Court to get into policy issues. Tomorrow you'll get the Supreme Court to decide the budget of the country. India, Tomorrow you'll ask the Supreme, the supreme Court to decide the foreign policy of the country. The I think you people are crossing the line. You shouldn't do that. This is going to become extremely the, controversial. Uh, one political party is in power. This is uh, don't do that. interfering. Every now, time drawing the Supreme Court into the, the Supreme Court cannot perform the role of a political party and never will. Electoral bonds, bonds to be don't in public. The Supreme Court supreme has to come court, up. You people are constantly giving a quasi-political function to the Supreme the Court. Because, because, because you cannot, because you cannot fight your political battles. not listening. Why, 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 the, the why did the Supreme doing? Court invite him uh, in the justice. electoral bonds? Supreme Court, supreme supreme court is not a political party. Declared much and why, and why, why are you getting into the political, political, political ground if that does? Supreme Court once again Wait, please, why to come party? forward and speak on the PM care funds. You people are saying it's a political party because you people are offended from Supreme Court. Because it has exposed Mr. Modi, Mr. Queen, please, must resign. We should have courage and we must resign. We must resign. Yeah, come on, do it. Supreme Court has always stood already as any a fact end of the government. debate since the debate was about the 2024 agenda let me you know come back to it for the next 30 seconds if you allow me you know the fault lines and the battle lines have never been clearer have never been more stark this is a fight between those who want Vixit Bharat and those who want balkanization of Bharat DMK has been calling for balkanization of Bharat and not
Congress party, not Aam Aadmi party, has had the you courage to condemn that. People, this, is Bodhi the bank. this is Mr. a battle Bodhi between Bodhi. those who have a vision Mr. Bodhi for the next 20 years and those who don't have a vision for the next 20 years. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to do that. Those who want to be able to And ladies and gentlemen on the other side, K Kavita has been arrested. K T R's daughter, big political story, big political story. K Kavita, uh, K T R's daughter, been arrested. Is now, is it now moving uh, closer towards the Aam Aadmi Party? Huge political scandal debate, and that's coming up in a few minutes. It's a hot debate tonight. छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम विश्व को जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम क्या कब कैसे हुआ क्यों हुआ मुझे कुछ नहीं मालूम छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी छोड़ो कल की बातें कल की बात पुरानी नए दौर में लिखेंगे मिलकर नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी लेकिन मैंने हर परिस्थिति में बीजेपी के लिए काम किया है और अब भी करूंगा पहले से कई गुना ज्यादा कर हमने क्या खोया हमने क्या पाया जिंदगी धूप तुम घना साया तुमको देखा तो ये ख्याल आया हम जिसे गुण यहाँ से लेके गए हैं इडी ने उसको कस्टडी में लेके गए और आज केस केस चल रहा है कोर्ट में नाइनटीन को लिए वो पोस्ट भी हो गया है कविता जी ने कोर्ट से अपील की है ईडी से कुछ कार्रवाई नहीं होना है उसके खिलाफ और उसके जो समन भेजे हैं उसके लिए हम लोग यहाँ से कविता जी ने उत्तर भी दिया है कि उसको प्री स्केड्यूल पहले का शेड्यूल है और इलेक्शन है उसको कैंपेन करने का रहता तो उससे पहले नाइनटीन को जब आपका हियरिंग है इतना जल्दबाजी क्या है Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals.
just a day after the central government has now issued notification to celebrate 17th September as Hyderabad Liberation Day every year and also at the same time now we are seeing that a movie based on uh, the, the Nizam's rule, the, uh, the Razakar's rule, now a movie is being released on the name Razakar. We have the producer of the film, uh, Guru Narayan Reddy with us, we'll talk to him and know exactly what exactly lead the movie talks about sir uh, the Razakar movie is all set to release on the 15th of March what exactly does the movie talk about what message are you trying to put forth through this mo uh, through this movie first of all I salute our honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for declaring 17 September as a liberation day of Hyderabad because it took 75 years for the pseudo secular parties who have ruled our country to not even to consider it and every time the, some political parties for their electoral benefits used to talk that 17 September should be the official liberation day, it should be celebrated officially. Today, the union, union government headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and also the Home Minister Sri Amit Shah ji has taken a great decision. My salutes to them. Secondly, the movie Razakar is going to talk or depict exactly what happened during those dreadful 396 days post 15th August 1947 till 17th September 1948 till Hyderabad was liberated from the draconian rulers of Telangana, I mean present day Telangana, yesteryear Hyderabad province headed by Mir Usman Ali Pasha, the then 7th Nizam. He acted so dastardly on his own people that unbelievable things have happened. Not even Nazis have committed such heinous crimes. Nizam has committed. And nobody had the guts to produce this because everyone, okay, because their threat comes and they get scared and all that. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for the debate. Swami on the debate at 10, powered by Reba University, Quick Heel Secrite, Policy Bazaar, co powered by 99acres.com, SPI General Insurance. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time now for the nation's sharpest opinion. KCR's daughter, K. Kavita, has been arrested today in the Delhi Liquor Gate scam. We're going to talk about it. Today, a team of 10 ED officers from Delhi came. They carried out extensive searches and then they arrested her. This moment, ladies and gentlemen, should settle a few things. K. Kavita, like Arvind Kejriwal, has been singing on about the conspiracy of vendetta. In March 2023, K. Kavita was the same politician who sought a fresh date from the ED for summons because of a scheduled hunger strike on the passage of the Women's Reservation Bill, just like Arvind Kejriwal is doing now. K. Kavita is the same individual who has skipped multiple summons of the ED this year itself, just like Arvind K. Jival is doing now. K. Kavita is the same individual who went to the ends of the earth to taint the ED as a politically motivated agency, just as Arvind K. Jival is doing now. And K. Kavita, despite all of that, is under arrest today. Whether K. Kavita gets bail or not will be a matter decided by the courts of law. But just like the courts of law have kept Manish Sisodia under custody for 383 days, barring sporadic interim bail on personal grounds, he's been inside jail. Now, if this is telling me something, what is it? It is that Arvind Kejriwal should realize in this moment, at this hour, that the vendetta card, Arvind Kejriwal is going to take him nowhere, that the ED will do what it has to and have to defend it before a court of law or custody. Arvind Kejriwal should also know that with K. Kavita in custody, the link with Vijay Nair, his man, his boy, the person who worked for him, uh, that also will slowly be unearthed.
because it has been alleged that K. Kavita was in touch with Vijay Nair and Vijay Nair was taking the bribes on behalf of the Aam Aadmi Party. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, there is a strong possibility that K. Kavita's arrest will lead to many more quick developments in Likha Gate. So the Aam Aadmi Party should really watch out. Let's debate. BRS's K. Kavita arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in Delhi Likha Gate case in Hyderabad. ED alleges that Kavita paid 100 crore rupees as bribes to AAP functionaries on behalf of the South Group. The biggest name in what ED calls the Southern Group in the scam now under arrest. The Enforcement Directorate will now question the BRS leader in Delhi. Kavita's brother KTR threatened ED officials over the arrest. Madam Balupriya Meena says search is over and arrest warrant is produced and now she says hold on hold on and now she says now she says we can't come in family cannot come in and she also says that she has no transit warrant she cannot produce before a magistrate but she wants to make a case listen you are you are you have given an undertaking in Supreme Court and now you are violating it you are in serious trouble the BRS claims the arrest is politically motivated. इतना जल्दबाजी क्या है? जब मोदी जी हैदराबाद में हैं और आप उसको अरेस्ट करना चाहते हैं क्या दिखाना चाहते हैं? एक केस एक साल से चल रहा है इसमें कोई सबूत नहीं है कहीं कैश पकड़ा नहीं है कहीं कोई सबूत नहीं है जो भी आप कर रहे हैं आरोप वो बिना कोई सबूत आरोप कर रहे हैं ये बीआरएस following the due process of the law has absolutely nothing to do with the political ramifications or whatever the state of uh, the nation is at the moment and to call it politically motivated is absolute rubbish. Are more heads likely to roll in the Delhi Liquor Gate scam? Let's debate. Uh, viewers, I'll run with the pictures throughout. You know, you saw pictures of the arrest. Very dramatic out there. Many people believe that if Arvind Kejriwal has not been arrested, then K. Kavita cannot be arrested. There are pictures from inside the house. There are unedited visuals, Aditi. We can play all of that. We have a big debate on this, viewers. Watching this nationally. Hashtag K. Kavita arrested. Now, Revala Sridhar Reddy represents the BRS. He's been holding a ministerial level position in the BRS, appears on my programs, has been very angry earlier in the day today. Uh, Revala Sridhar Reddy, spokesperson of the BRS, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, no, I'm... Yeah, yeah. So, Mr. Reddy, I don't want to get into this malice question. I want to go to the fact. There is a group called the South Group that gave 100 crore rupees to Ahmadmi Party. You know, Mr. Reddy, people don't even give 100 rupees without expecting something. Why would anyone give 100 crore rupees to Ahmadmi Party? And now these are all allegations. Where are 100 crores? Who found I don't it? know. Ask, ask Anmol. He is representing up. Anmol, where are the 100 crores he's asking? Arnab, he's asking what happened to the 100 crores they gave you. Arnab, Arnab, the Honorable Supreme Court has stated in 10th uh, line in para 28 that the allegations which have been leveled have to be established and proven. They have not been proved yet. Although you have, you have a right to express your views, but it doesn't mean that the allegations have been proved. In fact, what the country is witnessing today is the biggest scam of independent India, which is the extortion for Bharatiya Janta Party scheme, or you can call it electoral bond scheme. One of the accused who was alleged to be the kingpin in this Delhi liquor scam was of Aurobindo Pharma. And this data which has been released by Electoral Com Election Commission of India, it says that a raid was conducted on 10th of November 2022. 
and he purchased electoral bonds on 15th of November 2022. And luckily, or maybe this has been uh, a part of this whole uh, conspiracy wherein he was granted bail in May 2023. But what happened to the 100 crores? But what happened to the 100 crores? That the South not group gave. Why, why, why did... Arnab, not okay, a why, single penny has why? been recovered. No, not no, a single one minute. penny has no, been recovered. What? The same so, Honorable see, Supreme Court see, said that... You will have to find out... You will have questions. To... This case will fall will, flat Arna, after two Anmol, questions in Anmol, examination. Anmol, this case will fall Anmol, flat. Anmol, the, the Anmol, I'm going back to Mr. Reddy. Mr. Reddy, please answer a simple question. K. Kavita, daughter of KCR, is she part of the South group? And the South group includes YSRCP MP Magunta Srinivasulu Reddy, his son Bhagunta Raghava Reddy, Hyderabad businessman Abhishek Boinpali, Chartered Accountant Bucci Babu Gorantla, and P. Sharat Chandra Reddy. These are all South group. Is she part of this South group? I repeat, Anna, is she Anna. part of this South group? I repeat a third Anna. time. Is she part of the South group? You can say no Anna. or yes. No, Anna, no, absolutely. She uh, made a statement very clearly in the past. Many times she doesn't have any links with any of these people. Neither she nor any VRS party leaders have any connection with this particular activity or the case or issue, whatever, uh, whatsoever. And it's a fabricated case. We, we, we clearly... clearly have stated this many a times till date. Uh, whether you speak about this 100 crores or any other evidence, it's only on the paper. Nothing is proven yet. Nothing is properly... Patabi Ram Komaradi of the TDP is on the debate. Uh, on the debate, BRS, whose leader K. Kavita has been arrested today, say she has nothing to do with the South group. Nothing at all. With the group that is believed to have given 100 crores in bribes to the Amadmi party. Yes, Mr. Komaradi. Arnav, the issue is very simple. Can I make a small point here? Kavita Arnav. and BRS cannot deny her role in the Delhi liquor scam because of the simple fact that Kavita's own chartered accountant, Bucci Babu, had turned approver or not. Kavita's own chartered accountant had turned approver. He is saying that Kavita is involved and what defense they have. She is saying he is not involved. But she is saying he is not no. involved. Chartered accountant no. Buchababu Gorantla. No, one minute, one minute, one minute. If, if she is not involved, why is her own chartered accountant saying she is deeply involved? Yes, that's what I am questioning. If when Kavita's no, own is, chartered that is accountant the, is saying, who, is who else the, will know or not? Chartered accountants are the, the people ED who know two. all the financial transactions. Chartered accountants are the people who have all the... I don't know. I don't know. Kavita's own chartered Anna, accountant is saying... That, 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 that is, is, that is the, going on, Mr. Reddy. Please explain. What defense they have... Now, a chartered accountant, you know, deal with many clients. And it's up to ED to prove, number one. Number two, I wanted to remind the case. Two former MPs of TDP, who were then in TDP, then joined BJP, were accused and were trained in a case where money laundering was involved. So Mr. since they belong to that is going TDP, to now can, can I say that, whatever you have to listen to me, question. please allow me to speak. Please allow me to speak. Kavita please allow me to speak. Content, Bucci Babu turn this is not right. Not. This is not right. Bucci Babu say, Kavita is Mr. Patabi, this is not right. Answer my question very straight. Either, uh, either yours or mine. Should, please allow me to speak. If at all, only a chartered accountant statement is, you know, right in your case, the accusations of uh, on TDP MPs are directly linked to Mr. Chandra Babu Naid or what? They are not our MPs. They are not our MPs. Please, please, please. If you have any political vengeance, if you are against the party, you are a you are different things to be, you know, taken. Don't divert the topic cleverly. What are you talking about? They don't have an answer to my question. I have an answer. I am answering you very clearly. My simple question. They, they are not right on that. ED has every right to arrest Kavita today. And if someone, to someone, when, when the ED Honorable Supreme right Court has Anna. granted protection Anna. to the police, when the Honorable Supreme Court has granted protection to the BRS leader of the Court of Action, in this money laundering case, then what was the hurry to arrest? 
one second please there is, is a charge in the my friend where was the update what is this running commentary yaar there is no hurry this please is please listen to me the past two years where is the update mr patabi i know you are frustrated you are party is in defense in the andhra pradesh you are going to lose the game there was please hold she was given ample time wait a second yaar after collecting all the facts the ed aap suniye why why are you taking this in the court Or not there is no I'm not I'm not representing going on in the past two years is it not a fact that she was questioned Patabi Rao enforcement directorate I, what are you talking I about know. Patabi I don't know you are in a race to make money marks I am sure you are not representing ED if Patabi Ram charged again I am representing the truth wait a second yeah I am representing the truth don't Rahul shout Rahul. please I don't come in between what is this Patabi please please listen to me If you are chartered yeah, accountant, accused of you taking hundred crores bribe or giving hundred crores bribe, or oh, you mean to say that you know it is confirmed? Now you can be charged with it. What are you saying? I I know you are an advocate. If I am not wrong, if you have a Ra- political Rahul Gandhi, I am just saying party, when there is concrete evidence, how can you blame the evidence? Concrete evidence. How can you blame the evidence? R P saying. R P saying. R P saying. R P Singh, R P Singh, R P Singh. Now my question to you is, Mr. R P Singh, this is a case of corruption. But equally, it is being said that Aurobindo Pharma, one of the persons from Aurobindo Pharma, I'll tell you his name right now, who has turned approver in this case, is also been purchasing a lot of electoral bonds. Sir, so the ready. opposition, huh? Sarth Chandra Reddy. Yeah. So the oppo- so the Sarth opposition Chandra is saying Reddy is the name of the, the opposition. The opposition is saying Sharat Reddy. The opposition is saying on the one side you are saying that the ED and CB are going on issues of corruption, and on the other against the people who are who are being investigated, you are taking hundreds of crores from them in electoral Arnab, bonds. Also, How do the two match? Arnab, these are also proceeds of crime. I mean, does this not does this does this not dilute does this not dilute the 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 whole image you are giving that you are fighting corruption if you are taking money from those you are investigating? Arnab, do you have any proof that money has been taken by BJP from any of these people who you are naming? Is there any evidence on that? Uh, or, or well, the largest amount of money has gone to the BJP, yes. so it would be an assumption. Thing. Yes. So you're uh, Mr. So Singh, you, you'll have you to wait for just uh, one day to do a debate tomorrow, on this assumption, or you can't. Uh, well. Give me a second, sir. Stop these seclers. Arnab, I never spoke in between. I mean, stop the seclers. Uh, uh, okay. Can the AAP can the AAP spokesperson allow the BJP spokesperson to complete, and then we'll carry on. Anmol, let him complete, please. We've got four parties here. He's Sameer. requesting you. He's coming in last. Okay. Yes, RP. Samir Mehendra. Samir Mehendra. Who is Samir Mehendra? Hmm. Did she met Samir Mehendra in Hyderabad? Did she met Samir Mehendra in Delhi in December 2022 in a Abraj Hotel? There are phone call records on that account. And when I say, I'm sure about it. So, and she has, she has. Uh, The, uh, she has already uh, had some 16 phones. I've been told she had some 16 phones where where she was operating from, and she has already uh, destroyed some uh, some of those phones. I remember when she came to Delhi, she was carrying certain. She was showing off some phones, but not the real phones from where, which uh, from which she was making deals. But let's talk about Samir Mehendra. I'm giving a challenge. Did she met Samir Mehendra in Delhi and in Hyderabad in Hotel Abraj? And Samir Mehendra was a Go in between between the uh, Mr. Reddy, you, and, and and uh, the uh, the southern uh, lobby for hundred crore rupees. He was a conduit for Vijayanair. He was a front man for Vijayanair to get the complete deal going and increasing the the commission from five percent to twelve percent for the southern lobby. What is this money making going on between BRS and AAP? Let please, anyone uh, of them Reddy. deny. Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, and now listen. And now, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, 
I am not going to get into why Kavita is changing her phone seven times, uh, four times on one number, three times on other numbers. My very specific question is, do you remember the name Arun Ramachandra Pillai? Arun Ramachandra Pillai is the alleged frontman of the South Group. He has admitted that he was representing Kavita's financial interests. Too many people, too many people have gone on record that they were representing her interests. Arun Pillai and Prem Rahul, right? These are represent people representing the Benami interests of Kavita. It is said that Pillai, along with his associates on behalf of the South Group, orchestrated the entire scheme of forming a cartel of manufacturers, wholesalers and retailers, which controlled more than 30% of the wholesale liquor business in Delhi. Anna, Anmol, Anna. Is, this, is, this, is, this, is this what you people are doing a national level alliance for? No, 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 absolutely. What is, no, no, what is going on between BRS and AAP? There is nothing going on, BRS. Arnab, 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 wait, wait a second. What is Indus Parade? Wait a second. What is Indus Parade? Wait a second. 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 Are to be established the, 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 the very, not the very same court also that said then that how can you, there, there is a track of 338 crore rupees which leads to Mr. Sosodia. Can I? You want me to show you the Supreme Court, court has the court had made getting... observation of 338 crore rupees. Uh, uh, RP uh, uh, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, listen to me. Mr. Reddy, listen to me now. Now the debate is going to be very hot. Mr. Eddie, yeah, Bucci Babu, Bucci Babu Gorantla, very, very close right-hand person of K. Kavita, arrested by the CBI last year, accused of playing a role in the formulation and implementation of the daily excise policy. My question is, why is a person who is an associate of Kavita, assistant to Kavita, deciding the liquor policy and the excise policy of Delhi? See, this, that's what I'm trying to tell you. See, these are all allegations. See, clear. while you are saying they have reportedly made statements, rather given confessions that she is linked. She is claiming that she, she doesn't have any link. So that has to be proven by the prosecution or the ED, number one. Number two, as my AEP, uh, you know, as, you know, Bukhali also was saying that, you know, uh, there is no money trial. There is no evidence found. There is no, no money found at all. Everything is on paper. And all these numbers are in the, the losses which were claimed, rather uh, mentioned in the or statements, not. whichever in the coming in newspapers or the statements are imaginary. Generally, the policies are made by the government. Anybody, either from whether it is South Group or North Group or West Group or East Group, they can do business. It doesn't. It is not wrong. But if you, you know, come to a conclusion, if the government or any province agency think rather proves it's Arnab, wrong, good. Here they, they, found, they can be found guilty. He's accepting. But here in this case, they were into the business of they were into liquor business. I don't know if he's accepting. Are you accepting? You. The man is accepting. Are you accepting, accepting Mr. Reddy? Are you accepting? Business. Did you just accept? He Did you just accept it. that you were in the liquor business? business? No, whether they... they, they you accept that you need to clarify that you just accepted, accepted, accepted it. Accepted accepted it. it. No, no, no. I, I, I'm very... He accepted, accepted it, right? Did you accept? accepted it. No, I don't think he accepted Did you accept? Mr. Reddy, did you accept? We are in the business. Mr. Reddy, if you accept it, you can tell me. I don't mind. Be confined in me. Tell me clearly. I sort of accept it. No problem. Did you accept? I made it very clear. All So did you accept? I did not... That's what I'm trying to say. These allegations has to be proven because they this is a fabricated case. There is no. no but did you accept? There. What is it? What is there to accept in it? It is an allegation. Accept that you were in the liquor business. We are in business. He come accepted again? we are in business. I I am, I am not able to understand you. Can you come again? Did you accept that you were in the liquor business in Delhi, sir? I am asking you very clearly. A lot of people are commenting that you have just accepted. Absolutely no. Kavita Mr. Komarady, now he denies. Clarified that she has no link See, or not, with any or sort not. of this business group. Number one. Uh, or not number, two, number, two, well. number two. Number uh, two. Number two. Let not. me tell you a generic statement. Or doing not. a business in Delhi is not wrong for anybody. It that is. turning approval. The policy is wrong. That that can be. Turning questioned. approval means that he one had accepted that he had committed a crime. Here, Bucci Babu had turned approval. He had he had confessed that Kavita's involvement in the Delhi's liquor scam. He had confessed that bribes were given. That is what turning approver means. He is a turned approver now who had confessed about the 100 crore bribe. So if the anyone is can make a statement. The matter is closed. 
by becoming an approver do you think that it is right if if if, if madam kavita has yes, anything it. else to prove in her defense let her prove in the court you have an opportunity to blame saying. the ed why that's to blame the ed saying, now Kavi. you have legal remedies yes that's what I, that, that's what we are saying we believe in the legal system judiciary of this country we will fight this out in the court but what is so urgent to arrest immediately when the when the Rahul Rahul Gandhi, Gandhi, there was no urgency that is when, what when there was an appeal pending in the supreme this court this issue started 2 years back it is not an issue which started yesterday it started 2 years back madam kavita was given that. many opportunities that is what i am also asking for called for enquiry many times exactly she appeared for enquiry the three times announcement so of it the is not something schedule. which was hurried into she was given enough opportunities so this issue was not hurried into it is an issue which started 2 years ago so let's not blame the uh, investigative agencies go to the court fight your case but don't blame when don't chandra babu naidu is arrested in andhra pradesh uh, don't make it a political issue no Arna, so the matter Arna. is listed before Arna. the honorable supreme Arna. court Arna. and is listed Arna. for Arna. hearing on 19 when when, when and when the honorable chandra supreme babu court has granted protection against no coercive action which has been prayed for and when, when, no when Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu was arrested, you have no regard for the Pradesh. You blame the whole state of the country. You blame the government. There is a lot of difference. Blame the judge. When Mr. Naidu was arrested, public prosecutor. There was no inquiry. Mr. Naidu was, Naidu was not given any opportunity. When he, Mr. Naidu was not given any opportunity. He was arrested. A case, a case was then you blame everybody the right from the judge to the prosecutor. To now you say that you know there is a but evidence. It was not the same with the Delhi liquor scam. It is double standards. It was not the same say, with the Delhi liquor scam. Mr. Naidu's case is different. What we say when the matter is for today, and it is posted to 19. It is not like that. Exactly so when the post is to be announced, when the Prime Minister is in Hyderabad, this, 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 this activity has been taken place. You need to understand this. The timing. The timing is very Mr. clear. Mr. Singh, zoom in and show the amount of money which you have taken through electoral bonds as well. My South the people want to know about this upar. biggest scam which RP your Singh leaders Singh. are doing. Hello. Tell them that CD Sai Electricals was raised on 20th of December 2000. You are asking what the money trend. They Where is the electoral bonds oh, in Supreme January. Court observation in October 2023. And court categorically said that yes, and there was a money trail of 338 crore rupees. November 2023. Tell the Anmol. country that micro Anmol. labs was Anmol. raided on Anmol. 15 July Anmol. 2022. Anmol. 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 I now want to focus on you. This extortion racket which you are running. Anmol. I am asking you. Anmol. I heard you all. Public. That's all. Uh, over, over, over. Yeah, Anmol, you are liable. For RP, RP, yes, one minute, RP. Be prepared for RP, that. One minute, I'm before you are any. Anmol. 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 Tell me one. Everybody is watching now. It's just you and me on the screen. Who is Vijay Nair? <laughs> Arnab, it's for the Honorable Supreme Court, it's for the trial court to decide what role has been attributed by the Enforcement Directorate and whether it can be established and proven. We are not running a trial on Republic TV. You don't even we want, you don't even want to ask. You don't even, you don't even, you don't even want to. Country. You don't even, level. you don't. Who can Arre, establish bhai, listen, and prove whether any allegation listen. is true or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. That, that, you are sounding like Suresh Kalmadi used to when I asked him. My question is, who is Vijay Nair? You are even afraid to take his name. Who is Vijay Nair? V-I-J-A-Y-N-A-I-R. Vijay Nair. Naam to suna hoga aapne. Kaun hai ye? Bilkul naam suna hai humne aur hum aap intizar kijiye court ke faisle ka jab aapko ye pata chal jayega ke jo liquor scam hai isme ek paise ki jab but who is no but who is Vijay Nair? Arnab, you must wait for the court to adjudicate. I think when the matter is subjudice, I, it is But who is Vijay Nair? Mr. Komar Eddy, no, I am asking a simple question. question. Who is Vijay Nair? 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 Who is
everybody knows vijay nair or, or is it has been the right everybody everybody knows vijay you, nair you are also you are and arvind kejriwal used to work very closely together no i am not in whatsapp groups everybody knows vijay nair and arvind kejriwal were working very closely together everybody knows usme why, why are you scared of admitting it abhi jo hai jo hai tomorrow you get into trouble you think party will be so you also and mol arna when the matter is sub judice it is not uh, appropriate to comment i mean it is What for is the court to decide it is for Achha, the court Arnab, to decide can i ask him a question and the trial court will certainly decide about the role of x y or z whatsoever name uh, i mean you are free to take any name which But you want to take the name vijena you are not even wanting to take the name vijena why right? and of it's 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 in public domain Would okay where was vijay nair saying when he was arrested where did you operate it from where did vijay nair operate it from mr kailash gelots bungalow the minister's bungalow the official bungalow of the minister was allotted to vijay nair and kailash wrote never stayed in that bungalow it was vijay nair who was operating from that bungalow and from there he would call up the chief minister and chief minister would say hey hamara aadmi hai मुझे पूछिए कि कैलाश गहलोत के बंगले में रहते थे विजय नायर नहीं रहते थे विजय नायर इनके क्या लगते थे जो कैलाश गहलोत का सरकारी बंगला दे दिया उसको सरकारी बंगला दिया आपने कैलाश गहलोत का आपके मंत्री हैं सरकार में वो अपने बंगले में नहीं रहते थे ही वु नॉट सेन इस बंगलो इट वॉज विजय नायर वॉज अलॉटेड दी कैलाश गहलोत बंगलो हाउ कम डू यू हैव एनी प्रूफ और यू जस्ट मेक किस खुशी में दे दिया उसको बंगला Do you have any proof to prove? Do you have? Sir, it is on record. I am saying I am okay. I give a so, challenge. I give a challenge. File a defamation case against me on this issue. I give a challenge. He was staying in Mr. Kailash Gulat's <laughs> official bungalow. He is operating from Mr. Kailash Gulat's official you bungalow. Who is this man? And I give a challenge. Go and file a defamation case against me. I will prove this in the court. You have not even recovered a single penny from the liquor scam. अरे हमको क्यों मिलेगा वो जो पकड़ा गया था गुजरात के अंदर गुजरात के अंदर पकड़ा गया था जिसने बोला था ये आंगड़ी आंगड़ी है ये जो मेरा ड्राइवर है ये ड्राइवर नहीं आंगड़ी है ये पैसे लाता है देता है बीस लाख रुपए नकदी पकड़ी गई थी वो आपके जो एम एल ए लड़े थे रिंजर सिंह उससे बोला था उसने एडमिट किया था इस बात को हमने नहीं गुजरात का जो आपका एम एल एन था आर सिंह जी ईडी के अधिकारी उसने एडमिट किया On record, आप ईडी के अधिकारी नहीं है कंप्लेन दर्ज है उसकी जानकारी नहीं है जितने आप बेतुकी बातें कर रहे हैं अरे ये मेरी जानकारी है पब्लिक डोमेन में दिस इज ऑल इन पब्लिक डोमेन ये मेरी जानकारी नहीं है गूगल मारो अभी रिजिंदर सिंह का बयान मिल जाएगा आपको जिसको उसने कहा कि हाँ बहुत उपयुक्त व्यक्ति हूं इस मैटर का निर्णय लेने के लिए और आपको जरूरत नहीं मिस्टर रेड्डी मिस्टर रेड्डी मिस्टर रेड्डी इफ योर लीडर्स डॉटर हैज डन दिस डज इट बिकम द ड्यूटी ऑफ द बी आर एस पार्टी टू डिफेंड हर इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वॉट हर डूबियस बिजनेस डीलिंग्स में बी नो वाई डू यू फर्स्ट यू नो फ्रेम डूबियस डीलिंग्स डन इस आर बेसलेस एलिगेशन फर्स्ट वी डोंट यू नो एट ऑल एक्सेप्ट टू इट This is a clear case of political vendetta by you know BJP. Former Reddy. Convinced with telling you know Congress in Telangana. See, and last time in. Arna, wait, 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 हमारा बात सुनिए आपके जी वी एल नरसिम्हा राव ने सी एम रमेश और वाई एस चौधरी दो राज्यसभा एम पी थे तेलंगाना टी डी पी के जो बीजेपी ज्वाइन किए उसका भी जो केसेस है आप जैसा भी मोबाइल में दिखाए दिखाए उसको बो, बोले कि ए नया विजय मल्या है कुछ बोले थे उन लोगों को उन लोग बीजेपी ज्वाइन किए आपने निर्मा सर्फ अप्लाई किया था तो ये केम आउट क्लीन 
ऐसे बहुत सारे केसेस मैं आपके सामने दिखा सकता हूँ दिस इज अटीजे इलेक्शन कांग्रेस I don't know what is the kind of political. Well, I am not taking anyone's side. I was asking I was you. Presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. I am not presenting the facts. When Chandra was arrested. राहुल Instead, see, instead of blaming it on agencies or instead of commenting that it is political Can vendetta, you say the same in Chandra Babu Naidu's case. I suggest, I, I suggest, Can you say the same in Chandra Babu Naidu's case. Instead of putting the blame on the agencies, you, you, you go to the court. What you are you saying? I am asking you a question. Please answer me. Can you say skip the same in Chandra Babu Naidu's case? Why to skip summons? Nobody skipped the summons. We have answered the ED. and we have explored the options whatever we had in in, in the legal system you can do it the even now you can do it, it even now subsidies. no one is saying that, me. no one no one is asking you not to i am asking you the, i am asking but, you one but question stop, but stop but but stop this blame game on the agencies i am telling Mr. you Singh? will you will you accept the same will you agree the same rather will you stand for the same in chandra babu naidu case also see Where i you have told you and everybody times. Mr. Bottom. Naidu's case is different. Don't you know this that is... in Mr. Naidu's case, the case uh, was arrested for a morning, and he was arrested the same day. Did it happen with Mr. Kamal? Madam Kavita. No double standard. Did it friend. happen with Madam Kavita? When no double standard. Registered? When was the case registered? Two years this back. Is, Two years this back. Is, this is this is this is which stand? Mr. Naidu's case. Political which stand? Mr. Naidu's case. You know, we People will fight out. People know these facts. Yes, K. Kavita's arrest being followed up. We 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 expect this to matter to be taken up very quickly and presentations in court. Uh, and 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 I'm closing in with a secured commercial break because on the other side, very interesting development. The Supreme Court has decided to hear the CA plea on Tuesday. Now, viewers, my personal view: the Supreme Court will not get into anything which is a matter of a right of Parliament or a matter of government policy. It should not, but that's my view. Back in thirty seconds. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Chodo kal ki baate, kal ki baat purani. Nee door me likhenge, milkar nee kahani. Ham Hindustani, ham Hindustani. इलेक्शन कमीशन विल अनाउंस इलेक्शन डेट्स then on the 18th ladies and gentlemen the supreme court hears what the state bank of india has to say on the electoral bonds issue and on 19th the supreme court will be hearing 
uh, multiple pleas seeking a stay on the implementation of the rules of the citizenship amendment bill that is on the 19th of March. Will the Supreme Court get into it? Will the Supreme Court try and take on the government on it? We'll have to see. I don't think so. Let's debate. CAA is the country of the country. It is a stone on the stone. It is a stone on the stone. It will be stone on the stone. और इस चुनाव के पहले होगा इस चुनाव के पहले होगा ये बहुत बड़ी बात कही आज गृह मंत्री जी ने बहुत बड़ी बात हम सबके साथ प्रणव जी तालियां बज गई कोई धमाका नहीं है ये बात मैं दस बार बता चुका हूँ मगर आप चुनाव के पहले सीए लागू होगा इस देश का कानून है इसको कोई नहीं रोक सकता फाइव डेज आफ्टर सेंटर नोटिफाइड द सी ए the Supreme Court has agreed to hear a clutch of petitions opposing the CAA on March 19th. An appeal was made in the top court seeking a stay on implementation of the CAA until pleas challenging validity of the new law are resolved. The IUML in its plea argues that the CAA links citizenship to religion, but Center has rejected this claim. सीए सिर्फ और सिर्फ तीन देश अफगानिस्तान पाकिस्तान और बांग्लादेश से हिंदू सिख बौद्ध क्रिश्चियन और पारसी जो जैन और पारसी शरणार्थी आए हैं इनको उनका अधिकार देने का कानून है नागरिकता देने का कानून है जिससे इनके जीवन की वेदनाओं को हम कम कर पाए कैन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इंटरवीन एंड स्टॉल पॉलिसी डिसीजन Let's debate. Uh, what is my view, Pankaj? My view is that uh, the the citizenship amendment bill was lawfully passed by the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, and was also given the president's assent. It was introduced in the Lok Sabha. Uh, 9th December 2019, passed in the Rajya Sabha, 11th December 2019, mentioned by the President in the House, Hitesh Jain, on 1st February 2024, it has full parliamentary sanction. How can the judiciary, with the greatest of respect, how is it even comprehensible, Hitesh, that the judiciary will question a bill that has become an act by the President's assent, and implemented by a lawfully elected parliament through the parliamentary process. This would be a breakdown of the whole system then. Hitesh, why Arnab. don't you open it? Uh, yes. Thank you, Arnab. So, as far as the act is concerned, as you rightly pointed out, it has already been passed in 2019. There has been a challenge that was mounted. The petition has not been heard by the Supreme Court. So as far as the law was, uh, as far as the law is concerned, it was set into the motion when the parliament had passed the act. What has happened now is just the notification of the rules. And merely because the rules are notified now, it does not give a ground for urgency to approach the court and seek a stay as to the rules have been uh, uh, notified now. So I find it extremely difficult first on the ground of just going to the court and asking for the stay of the legislation. Second, as you rightly said, the parliament has its authority to pass the law and the authority derives from Article 11 of the Constitution. So once the parliamentary uh, parliament has the power to legally enact the bill, then the second point that comes, that, that is a legal position, that the presumption of legality and the presumption of legality is always in the favor of the statute. So all these factors right. are concerned. It looks difficult, but I don't want to comment as to what is going to happen in the court. But it will be very no, difficult. No, what doesn't want to. I mean, if somebody... What, what doesn't uh, want to, is, but no, I also... No, 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 you know, our... No, but Pali, Arnab, I want to put a very serious issue on your channel. Nowadays, there is a lobby who believes in browbeating the Supreme Court. They love to challenge the integrity of the Supreme Court. Whenever the Supreme Court is not firing the political agenda, which they want to fire from the Supreme Court's shoulder, they do the name-calling of the judges and the Chief Justice. They feel that by setting and mounting up the pressure on the judges, they can force yeah, them they're to trying to get the... Judgment. So it is going to be the litmus test for the Supreme Court as to whether they are going to be browbeaten by the lobby or they are going to act in accordance with the rule of the law. I agree with you, but it's a litmus test for the Supreme Court. And 
So people should check into this because normally rules are framed within a few months after bringing a legis legislation. But here you put four years and three months. The rules just one month before the general elections. So you want the you want the, you want the, uh, Pankaj, 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 listen. I'll tell you one thing. You people have not been able to put together a proper opposition. You are going to lose the election. Oh, does not a, mean uh, that you uh, try to turn the Supreme that. Court. The Supreme Court is not yeah. here to fight your political battles. And Niladri, while delivering the verdict on Article 370 in December last year, Chief Justice said that every decision of the union government cannot be challenged. As if this becomes the trend, then there'll be a standstill on the administrative process. The country will come to a standstill. The Supreme Court cannot and should not interfere in matters of governance, Niladri. But when government... Governance you know, is for the government. See, government's profane intentions are so clear that it is impossible for the ruling dispensation to hide behind any the argument. The Supreme Court cannot play the role of a political party. Polarization the and the polarization the at the time... Polarization the at the time of elections is the of only purpose. purpose. No, I think you're overdoing it, and this is going to lead to a huge, huge argument. I mean, every decision, as the Supreme Court said, taken on by the union on behalf of the state, very is not decision. open to challenge. It's not one of those every Yeah, decisions. so of course, what do, you, what do you want the government to do? To take minor decisions only? It's I mean, a this very is major decision. decision. A bar on the government to take the decision till the elections are notified. That means before one month, the government has oh, to no, but how can you? How there can you? no governance in the country. But how can you it frame the rules after agenda, four, four years and three months? So, and we have decided... You want the courts to run the country? You want the courts to run the country? Because the opposition is not that CAS is to place religion as a basis for giving uh, citizenship? Can I make a point, please? Is it not a major, a major decision? If so, how can I want it to, be? I want to. I want to remind you. I want to remind you. I want to get Niladri and RP. Allah, Very important point, observation had been made here by Supreme Court Judge, then Justice Hemant Gupta. He said. He said on this matter, RP. Just a minute. The courts can declare and interpret law, remove lacuna, fill up the gaps, but the courts. Supreme Court Judge Hemant Gupta said the courts cannot entrench upon the field of legislation. You think Justice Chandrachul will forget these words of Justice Hemant Gupta? But the courts cannot... Sorry, but let me get in Niladri. 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 I don't think he can hear me, so I'll go to RP. RP. Arnab, what will court decide whether Muslims are minority in minority in Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan? Is this a court going to decide? Because the complete co point is that they are saying that you are not including Muslims. We being a secular nation, we should have added Muslims who are who want to come and take citizenship from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. So now court will decide whether they, they are minority in those countries or not. I mean, this is the only issue. No, the issue is, is that when you make a law... I don't understand. I can't comprehend. How will court decide on something related to Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh? Majority with votes in and mind, it is thoroughly an unholy practice. Is Niladri, can you hear me? Can I, because if he's there, yeah. Niladri, what you want to respond... What do you mean by arbitrarily misusing the majority? Yes. I mean, they are... What I, what no, no, we have been given right by the country. Niladri, 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 of the country. But the point is... The court is going to decide whether the law is constitutional or not. No, Correct. that is so that is within the purview of the court. What but the having said so, on what I have seen now. that the CAA has created havoc in the state of Assam because at the end is of the, the day, ground, Miladri, when for setting the NRC aside the statute, was done, where if the law has Hindus created havoc were, on the ground, uh, is that a ground to set aside the law? NRC. What the CAA has done is to shift the timeline yeah. from 1971 Nilatri, if a law is created a havoc on the ground that is not the ground which to set violate the, the Assam Accord. And we must also take it into view that this NRC was passed from the Supreme Court itself only, which necessitated the CA in the current Nilatri, we are dealing with the issue of CA and the rules. Please respond to that. We are, we are referring to CA and its rule. So confine your challenge there. That is the only issue before the court. 
and the act that has been passed in 2019 what is the proprietary of seeking a stay after five years when the bill was passed because the rules were framed after four the years. Constitution, the Even constitution if the rules are framed after four years, it's not the ground of the state. Give me one freedom of challenge the law made by the except parliament. Say, except law is in India has, that India has, law is not in tune with the, the fundamental law made by the parliament is constitution. the constitution. Only Niladri and Nitish. Niladri. 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 Article 11 of the Indian constitution also also gives parliament the right to regulate the right of citizenship by law. Part 2, Article 11. Absolutely. Also, Citizenship Act 1955 Absolutely. entitles the Ministry of Home Affairs to grant or without citizenship to any individual. These are matters which are very much Absolutely. put out there. Do you think the courts will say today that we should not care for the rights of the government, the, for, the, for, the, for the responsibilities of the elected government? We should decide everything. You expect parliament or the government to report to the Supreme Court? Everything cannot be got into in the guise of interpretation. Under the guise of interpretation, you can you can you can take over the rights of the government and destroy the no, fundamental structure correct. of I'm the not, governance I in this country. Completely. This will be a matter of great overreach in my view. Very wisdom. big overreach. The parliament in overreach. all its wisdom has made a law. But the constitution it. as it is today provides that the law has to be in consonance with the principles of the constitution. If it is not, it is within the purview. The power of judicial review is still there in our constitution. That cannot this be taken not... away. Either you see, are saying, what I'm saying, you are saying the government will the take the, the you know, no, 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 no. What, you, what you are saying, what you are saying is and put it in that form. The, under, under, the, under the guise of interpretation, the Supreme Court cannot take away from an elected government the right to legislate. This will be the biggest example Absolutely. of judicial overreach if it happens in my Arnab, view. Arnab, there yeah. are two parts. No, before if it happens, if I agree with you or not, because see, the, part, the court cannot take away. Judicial activism cannot be tolerated in this to country. The rule of but the power of judicial review also has to be given to the court. I am not saying that there should be judicial activism, but judicial review of any law made by the parliament. No, no, these are issues open. about the separation of powers. Is not desirable. These are, but judicial no, no, review no. is absolutely desirable and there has to be checks and balances. <laughs> that is no, but I find it, I, I find it, I anyway find it quite hypocritical that the separation of powers get blurred when the same Supreme Court opposes the NJSC model and backs the appointment by President and a collegium is now ordering for the judicial head to be 